Dad, what are you doing out of bed? You need care. They're kicking me out, son. No money, no treatment. Yeah, you need to leave right now. You can't pay and you're taking up space. What's your problem? My dad's dying. Sorry, but there's nothing I can do. You better leave or I'll call security. Uh, I'm sorry, Dad. <coughs> it's okay, son. I swear, I'll become the richest person in the world so we don't have to suffer anymore. <coughs> Let's just get you home. I think I have a plan. It'll be okay, Dad. The roof is leaking bad. The house is flooding. Why haven't you been home to help me? I was visiting Dad at the hospital. I don't even know why you tried to get him help. Boys, stop fighting. I'm really tired. Dad, you can't stay here, okay? You'll just get more sick. It's our home, son. Please, just go see if you can stay with the neighbors. Oh, uh, fine. Maybe John next door will help me out. I can't believe they treated Dad like that. We're poor, Roger. You need to accept that. Well, I don't want to be poor anymore. I want to become the richest person in the world so I can take care of everyone and no one has to suffer like us. Stop with your stupid dreams. We were meant for a hard, sad life. That's it. So deal with it. Why can't you believe in me for once, Chip? It's not impossible to change your lives. Oh, really? And how do you plan to do that? By wishing on a star? I'll find a way. I'm not giving up on our family. You're just setting yourself up for disappointment. No, I won't accept that. I'm going to check on Dad. Hey, get back here and help me fix the roof. Ugh. I hope this place is hiring. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm trying to apply for a job. We're not taking any more applications at this time. I'm here to apply. Or three. Sweet! You just told me you weren't accepting applications. But not for people like you. I need this job. I have to get money to help out my father. You are too poor to work here. This place is for people who can afford to dress the pot. Oh, come on, man. You know that's not fair. Life's not fair, kid. Now get out of here before I call the cops. No, just, just hear me out. That's it. You're coming with me. No, get away from me. Get back here! I've been kicked out of every single place I've tried to apply to. No one will even give me a break. I just need a chance, and I'll prove myself. Well, I quit then! Fine, I don't need you. Um, excuse me, sir. I'd like to apply for an open position if you have it. Yeah, sorry, kid, but we don't have any open roles for, uh, you know, someone like you. What is that supposed to you mean? You smell bad, man, and I can tell that you're homeless. I don't have time for this. No, no, sir, just... I just need one opportunity to prove myself, please. I need this job more than I can ever explain. If you give me a chance, I promise I won't let you down. Uh, okay, fine. You can clean up the place. It's disgusting. You're the new janitor. Yes. Thank you so much. Your shift starts now. Dad, what are you doing? You need to rest. I don't want to. I'm tired of lying around. No matter what, I'm still going to be sick. Where's Chip? We went to try to find some food somewhere. I'm sorry that we have to live like this, Dad. I promise that it won't be like this forever. <sighs> we probably will. Or at least, I will. No, Dad. I'm gonna get us out of this poverty. No use, son. Our family has always been poor. And we always will be. Well, I can't accept that. Someday, I'll have enough money for us to each have our own house. With food and heat. That's a nice dream, son. <coughs> Dad, I promise, okay? I'll take care of everyone. Customer spilled something on the ground. Looks like a double extra chocolate milkshake. Go clean it up right away. Uh, I'm on it. Hey, I'm Todd. I heard you're the new janitor. Uh, yeah, I am. My name's Roger. Oh, what a stupid name. You're even more pathetic than the last person we had. Hey, what's your deal, man? L leave me alone. This is my first job. I have goals in life that I want to reach. <laughs> you have goals. So funny. You'll never get any of that, you poor loser. Look, get back to work. <laughs> Stupid Jenner, idiot. Oh, man. Really don't like that guy. Oh, man. There's no food in here. This sucks. Uh, hey, Chip. Oh, great. Finally, you can help me get some food. No need. I finally have money, and I got free food for us from work. Are you still trying to do that work thing? We need you at home, helping with the house and dad. I am helping dad. I'm helping all of us. Roger, get off your high horse and stop pretending you're a hero. You work as a janitor in a fast food restaurant. You're not exactly breaking world records with your wealth. Well, it's better than nothing, and it's a start. You're being selfish. 
quit these stupid rich guy dreams and just quit this job already. No, how am I being selfish? We finally have fresh food and some money coming in. This is the best situation we've been in in years. Maybe you should get a job too. Nobody's going to hire me and I have to take care of dad. <sighs> Chip, if we both have money, we, we can both pay for dad's hospital bills. You're delusional. I'm not gonna just abandon dad. You're so selfish. Your family needs you. I know my family needs me, but I'm doing the right thing here. <sighs> Whatever, Roger. Chip! It's my order. I ordered 25 minutes ago. God, this is ridiculous. Oh, man. I've never seen so many people here at one time. Where's all the workers? Roger, look. Someone called out of work, and we don't have anyone to work the register now. What? Where's Terry? I can't reach him. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. I'll work the register. You? Uh, you know what? Fine. Whatever. Roger, I, I didn't think you could do it. You came through when I needed you the most. Yeah, don't sweat it. It's the least I could do for the opportunity you gave me. That was probably the busiest we've ever been. Here, take this. What, a thousand dollars? I don't know if I can take it. Seriously, just take it. Thank you. You don't understand how much it's going to help me out. I really appreciate it. I can't believe I got promoted by the owner. I got a big pay raise. This is really going to help my family out. I'm not going to listen to you, you know. You may be my new supervisor, but that should have been me. Uh, you didn't because you kept showing up late, you don't work hard, and you're rude to customers. Ugh! You won't be owner for long. You're just some poor loser. Roger, Roger, quick. Wait, Chip, what's wrong? <laughs> it's, it's dad. Go quick. Yeah, run away. Oh, what? I thought dad can come to the hospital. I didn't know where else to take him. He's over here this way. Where's my dad? Um, listen, kid, I'm sorry, but he's gone. You just kicked him out again? No, not what I meant. He's dead. What? No, 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 no. You, you, are you kidding me? Well, I, I, I'm sorry, okay? There, there was nothing that we could do. You could have treated him months ago when he was here. Instead, you just kicked him out on the streets like a monster. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? I was just following hospital policy. It isn't my fault they couldn't pay to be here. No! Ah! Ah! We got someone attacking me! Security! Can't believe this. Dad, I promise. I'm gonna do what I said I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna be the richest person in the world so no one else has to ever feel the pain that we're going through. I'm gonna give the money I make to everyone who's in need. Ah, that was a hard shift, but I'm happy with the work I put in today. Roger, Roger, you're a natural. I have never seen anyone make so much progress in business in such a short amount of time. Thank you. I've just been following my gut and everything that you taught me. Well, then, of course, you're going to do well if I taught you. <laughs> You've got really good intuition here. Profits are up 5x. It's truly impressive. Well, I'm just glad I could help make a difference. I just want to see this place succeed. And it has. You've been great so far. I want you to do more work with me outside of this restaurant. I've got big dreams, and I think we're going to make a great team. Wait, really? I'd be honored to work more closely with you. You are correct. <laughs> and to thank you for all your hard work and dedication, here's a little bonus. $10,000? Uh, thank you so much. This seriously means the world to me. You've earned it, Roger. Keep up the good work, and there's no telling how far you'll go. I won't let you down. I promise. You know, I know there are always challenges, but I'm ready to face them head on. Yeah, that's great, kid. Chip! Chip, where are you? What, Roger? What's going on? Look, I have incredible news. I finally got enough money for us to move out of this place. We don't need to live here anymore. I don't want to move from this place. What? You never liked living here. That was when dad was around. And I miss him a lot. And this seems to be all that I have left of him. Chip... You have to let it go, okay? Dad would want us to move to a much nicer place. You have to understand- No, that's what you want. You abandoned our family for this stupid job. You barely spend time with me anymore. I'm working for you, for us. We'll never have to worry about anything again. I don't care about the money. You're just focused on yourself. That's not true, Chip. I care about our family's well-being, and I've been the only one that's been taking care of it. I want to give us the best life that we possibly can have. Well, maybe you're- best life isn't what I want. Todd, can you take out the trash? 
It's overflowing. No, why don't you do that yourself, janitor boy? Man, we've talked about this. I'm your manager now. You need to listen to me when I ask you to do something. You're not my manager. I never said you could be in charge of me. I was given this job by the owner. So that means I am in charge of you. I don't care. I'm not going to listen to anything you tell me. Oh my goodness. You're acting like a baby. Todd, we're a team here. We need to work together to keep this place running smoothly. Team? You gotta be kidding me. I didn't sign up for this. I know change could be hard, but I believe in you, Todd. We can all make this work together. <laughs> oh, you believe in me? How touching. But that doesn't change anything. I'm not taking orders from you. Not now, not ever. Todd, just take out the trash. Oh, you just don't get it, do you? Man, you're all so stupid. I'm not doing it. That's your job, you poor idiot. All right, fine then. You're fired. What? You can't fire me. I just did. Goodbye, Todd. Ugh, whatever. I'm going to get back at Roger one way or another. Man, look at all this. I can't believe that I finally did it. I was able to save enough money to move out of that cabin and into my own apartment building. I know Dad would be proud. I just wish he was still here to see how far I've come. So this is the place, huh? Yeah, how do you like it? This place sucks. I don't want to live here. Well, Chip, I don't know how to tell you, but this is our new house. It's new, but you'll start to love it eventually, and it's either this or the streets. Yeah, well, then I guess I'm choosing the streets, because I'm not going to live here. I'm going back home. Why don't you want to live here with me, man? I'm your only family that you have left. Because I never asked for anything, any of this. I never asked for more than just the home. That's what dad would want. Dad would want us to stay there where we grew up. No, that's not true. You're being blinded by everything, Chip. Dad would want us to better ourselves. He would want us to succeed in life. Chip, where are you going? As far away from you as possible. Roger, Roger. Thanks for meeting me here. Well, I'm planning on making this the second restaurant. And I want you to run it for me. I'm honored by your offer, but I'm not sure if I'm the right person for this. It's a huge responsibility. Look, I understand your concern, but I've seen your potential, Roger. You're a hard worker, and you have a natural talent for business. I truly believe you can do this. All right, I'll give it my best shot. I have huge plans for the future, you know. I want to own my own company and a ton of stores someday. Honestly, I want to be so rich that no one has to go hungry or broke ever again in this world. If you do well here, I'll consider giving you the company when I retire. Wait, what? Oh, you heard me right. I don't think I can see anyone else running this business besides you. You just have to prove yourself. If you can do it here, then you're the perfect person to leave my legacy to. <laughs> Wow, thank you so much. I promise, I'm gonna make you proud. I can't believe how great this is. I got a huge raise, I can buy my own apartment and get a car. Maybe I can talk to Chip and get him to work with me. He deserves another opportunity. Hey, Roger, what's up, dude? Todd, what are you doing here? Go away. Look, Roger, I'm here to apologize. I realized I was wrong and thought we worked well together. I wanna learn more from you. Wait. Really? After how you treated me before? You were disrespectful and difficult to work with. I don't know if I can forgive you for that, man. I know, I know. And I'm sorry. I had a lot of time to reflect, and I was wondering if I could get a job here. Look, I promise it'll be different this time. It's a new year, it's a new me. You really think I would just give you a job again? Uh, yeah? Why not? Maybe because you were a massive jerk to me every chance you had? You were terrible. Why would I ever want to help you again? Please, Roger, I'm hungry and I'll be homeless without a job. Uh, man, all right. I don't want anyone to be homeless. You can have the job, but you better be serious about changing. I hope you see this as an opportunity. Oh, thank you so much, Roger. You won't regret it, I promise. I hope not. We need you to start now because we're opening soon. Sure thing, boss. He is such an idiot. <laughs> Today is the day. Yeah! We're so excited! I'm really man. hungry! Can I have food? I really want some food right now! We're officially open for business! That was one of the most impressive days of business I have ever had! At a new store, no less! Well, yeah, I was offering a promotion, and it seemed to bring a lot more traffic than we've had in a long time. You never cease to amaze me, Roger. I just want to do the right thing. 
Just like you, I have my own goals. If we keep having days like that, we'll be opening more and more restaurants in no time. Those dreams of yours could become a reality more soon than you think. <laughs> I can't wait to go and tell Chip about this. All right, looks like no one's here. And I hate Roger so much. It's going to be so easy to frame him for this. <laughs> you won't even know what hit. I'm just going to put in his stupid access code. No cameras, no evidence. Roger really didn't think I knew about his stash of money, did he? I mean, it's money. I'm going to know where it is. This is mine now. And when the owner wants his cut, he's going to blame Roger for not having enough money. <laughs> Goodbye, Roger. Enjoy the fall on the face, idiot. Uh, hey, Chip. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah, but it has to be quick. I'm trying to work on the house. Look, I know you love this place and you miss Dad, but I've got a great opportunity for you. And I want you to come work with me. I'm not going to work for someone who abandoned their family. That's enough, man. I didn't abandon our family, Chip. Stop blaming me for that. I'm working hard so I can take care of you. Oh, like you took care of dad? That is not fair. I couldn't get the money for his treatment in time. Maybe if I had some help. I'm not going to help you because it's a stupid dream you've had. So ugh, frustrating. Well, guess what? It's a reality now. I'm making more money in a month than our family has in the last 20 years. Oh, so you came to brag then, huh? No, no, I didn't, Chip. Can't you see that I'm just trying to help you? I want you to have a good life. Worry about yourself, Roger. What you do best. I'm busy. Something feels wrong. Where's all the money? Um, Roger, I need to talk to you. Why is all the money missing? Uh, I don't know. I locked the store after I left. Were we robbed? Well, you're the only one with the key, and there was no sign of breaking in. No broken windows, no busted doors. This is not right, Roger. Hey, what are you trying to say? Do you really think I stole the money? I don't know. I don't have the proof, but I have to fire you regardless. A lot of money went missing. I mean, a lot of money. You can't be serious right now. I've been loyal to you and the business. I've worked so hard to make this place a success. What reason do I have to steal from you? I want to believe you, Roger, but the facts just don't add up. We have to consider all the possibilities. Please, just, just let me figure out what happened. Your keypad number was the last one used. All signs are pointing to you. Well, it just doesn't make sense, okay? I promise that I can prove it. I understand you want to prove yourself, but I have a responsibility to protect the business. I just can't ignore this. Oh, there must be some other explanation, though. I'm sorry, Roger. My hands are tied. I have no choice but to let you go. Man, I can't believe I had to sell everything to start over. I don't, I don't care what happened. I'm still going to be the richest person in the world. I can't let this setback just ruin my chances like that. I need to find a new place to stay. I hope this is going to work out. Ugh, thanks for knocking. Hey, Chip. Good to see you, too. What do you want? Listen, man, I lost everything. See, I told you. It was a stupid idea. No, well, I sold everything, though, but I still have money. And I want to start a new business. <sighs> oh, great. Here we go. Look, it's a good idea, Chip. Just trust me. Your ideas have had you cloud it. You've been away from our family for too long. You abandoned me when Dad died. No, I didn't. I was working. I've been there for you, and I'm here for you now to ask if I can stay with you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you can't be serious. I got nowhere else to go. I figured it would be good for us to maybe work together on this new business. It would be a great opportunity. No, you can't stay here. Are you serious? Yeah, you can't just leave and come back. You didn't listen to me. Trying is stupid. You should have just accepted the fact that we're poor brothers who have no other family and we're going to live in this broken down house forever. You know what, man? Your attitude is awful. And of course you're broke. You don't try. You need to stop being afraid of everything. Take your big shot ideas and get out of my house. <laughs> wow. Fine. This will be the spot. This is where I'm going to launch my fast food franchise. Wow, uh, you really want to buy this dump, huh? This place is absolutely disgusting. You'll need some serious cleaning, you know? Yeah, I know. And I'm ready to put in the work. <laughs> you're an idiot. This place will never be anything, loser. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. This is my chance. My chance to start over and prove everyone wrong. Time to get to work. Man, this floor hasn't been cleaned up in years. Just a couple more bags and then should be it for the trash. 
Well, it took all day, but I was able to clean it up. This is gonna be it. I wanna give back to everyone who's in need. Man, I just I wish I could convince my brother to come and help. He needs this opportunity. He just needs to see that this is life-changing. Ah, uh, whatever. At least I know that this is the start of my future. Man, hope the business picks up soon. It's been really slow. Well, 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 look at this pathetic excuse for a restaurant. Where are all your customers, Roger? Oh no. Don't be here, Todd. I have faith in what I built. <laughs> You call this a success? This place is a joke. Hey, uh, let me get a burger, please. Oh, sure thing. Ah, thanks. Wow, uh, this is the best food I've ever had. That burger sucks. Hey, you're the one who sucks, buddy. Just don't talk about this delicious burger like that. It's the best burger in the world. Oh my gosh. You know what, Todd? I've had enough of your negativity. Get out of here. Yeah, fine. But don't expect me to come crawling back when this place goes under. This place isn't going anywhere. I've worked hard to make this dream a reality. And I'm not giving up now. I'm not giving up now. We'll see about that, Roger. Hey, man, uh, keep up the great work, Roger. Uh, that's your name. I'll be back for sure. This burger's amazing. Hey, Dad. Um, you know, things are pretty hard right now. I'm still working hard, and I'm trying my best. I wish you were here. I'm sorry that I couldn't save you. I miss you every day, and I won't stop working until I can help other people in our situation. I know that that's going to make you proud. Hey, Chip. Sorry, I'll get out of here. No, Roger, I was listening to what you said to Dad. I know how hard this has been on me, and I see it's hurting you too. Of course it is. I failed Dad, Chip. I couldn't save him. It wasn't your job to save him. You didn't fail Dad. You did the best you could. Wow, you really think that? Uh... I appreciate it. No, I heard your burgers are actually pretty good. Yeah, word's kind of spreading, you know. You should come by and try one sometime. I thought a lot about what you said the other night. I want to change too. I get scared and wish I was as strong as you. It's okay to be scared. I'm scared all the time. Really? Certainly don't show it. Yeah, it's because, you know, you just got to keep pushing through it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Can I come work for you, Roger? Seriously? Of course you can. I want you to be a part of the company. I want you to be a part of all of it. Wow, I can't believe this! What is going on? What do you think's bringing all these people to your restaurant? I wonder if it's the discount I've been promoting. Yo, dude, this discount is amazing! I can finally eat! Three for three dollars? Incredible! Wow, uh, I'm happy that I made a restaurant where everyone can eat at. So this is what you've been working towards? Yeah, I mean, everyone matters in this world. I care about all of them. I'm gonna donate food every week to people in need. Man, I'm happy my vision is finally starting to come true! Ugh, I hate Roger so much. Who does he think he is? The coolest guy on the planet? That's not true. I am not gonna let this happen. Pathetic, poor loser. What is this place? Well, we've been doing really good and making a lot of money, so this is our next store. I thought we already had a store. Well, we're gonna open up thousands of them all over the world. This one is our next step to doing that. It's really cool. But I want you to run the store, Chip. Me? I don't know, Roger. Never thought I'd be here. Look, I, I believe in you. You have what it takes to make this a success. I know it. Yeah, but what if I mess up like I always do? We're in this together. We'll learn from any mistakes and keep moving forward. Just can't believe this is happening. Never thought this would come true for us. Well, that's the power in believing in ourselves and working hard. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thanks for giving me this opportunity, Roger. I won't let you down. I promise. I know you won't. Let's make this dream a reality. Together. I'm glad you enjoyed the burger. We take pride in our quality. Yeah, it's really great. Keep up the good work. Oh, oh, oh. You! I ate here yesterday. I feel terrible. This food sucks. Ew. Ew. Hey, leave them alone, you know. Their, their food is amazing, man. You think you're so smart, don't you? I'll make you pay for this. You know what, Todd? I've had enough of your nonsense. You're just jealous because we're actually making a difference. You'll think you're better than me, don't you? Just wait, Roger. I'll make you regret this. You're not better than Todd. You always try to bring everyone down, Todd. But guess what? I won't let you. 
We'll keep growing and helping people. And there's nothing you can do about it. This isn't the end of this, Roger. You'll see. You'll see, I tell you, you see! Um, can I just get a number four again? Thank you all for coming. It's been an incredible journey to get here. Our mission has always been to help people. And I'm proud to say that we've made a difference in so many lives. Together, we'll keep growing and spreading kindness around the world. Again, thank you for your support. I can't believe this. How did he do it? A thousand restaurants? Oh, what is this, Todd? Look at Roger's success and look at our restaurant. Empty. It's not my fault, okay? Roger's just a lucky idiot that's stupid and I hate him. I should have never trusted you. Maybe Roger was right all along. You better get your sales up, Todd, or you're fired. Trust me, you can't fire me, okay? I'm Todd. Yeah, and I'm the owner and I can do whatever I want. Get the sales up, idiot. I'll get my sales up all right by taking his down. Yeah, this will teach you, Roger. You think you can mess with me? You think you can make me look like an idiot? You think you're better than me, don't you, Roger? I have dreams too, you know. No one ever believed in me like they do you. It's not fair. You ruined everything for me. I'm gonna make you pay. Oh my goodness. Who would have done this? Wait a minute. Todd. It had to be Todd. He must have stolen the money too. It's been him all along. I guarantee it. Oh, this is just a small setback. We'll fix this in no time. I'm just sick of him. You know what? No, it's time to put an end to this once and for all. Uh, excuse me, what the heck is going on here? You have a deal, Roger. Awesome. Thank you for doing business with us. Uh, yeah, hi. Hello, Todd over here. What's going on? Roger just bought our entire franchise. He is the new owner now. Yeah, and first thing is owner, you're fired, Todd. You need to leave right now. What? No, 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 you can't do this to me. You can't. I lost everything because of you, Roger. How could you? It's time for you to move on, Todd. You've had your chance. Come on, buddy, this way. No, no jail sucks, I hate it. Mr. Rogers, Chip Westerly with Channel 7 Action News. Tell me, what's it like to be the richest man in the world? That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Whoever finds the golden egg will win the prize a billion dollars. The contest will begin in three, two, one, go! Oh, man, I just gotta find that golden egg. Oh, you're not gonna find anything, you poor loser. Oh, man. Where is it? Yes, that's it. That's the golden egg. Oh, man, I did it. Oh, oh sweet. I found the egg. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the golden egg contest and a billion dollars is Neil. Oh, yeah. Thank you all. Thank you so much. What? Hey, that's not fair. I found the egg first. He pushed me to the phone. Uh, no, I didn't. You're just mad because you're a broke loser, camera. I'm not a broke loser, Neil. Oh, look, it looks like he's gonna cry. Now. I'm not gonna cry. I'm just wet from the water. You know, Cameron, just face it. You'll never be rich, and you'll never amount to anything. Accept it, loser. <laughs> Look at him, poor idiot. Oh, oh, what a moral. You know what? I'm gonna prove you all wrong one day. Especially you, Neil. I'm gonna be the richest person ever. Yeah, we'll see about that, poor. You can't do this, Frank. Yeah, I can. I did it, and I'll do it again. Frank, this is outrageous. Dad, what's going on with the house? What's happening? Why don't you tell my son, Frank? Well, some rich, fancy guy bought the whole neighborhood. He wants to turn it into a high-end hotel, luxury apartment, and I sold it to him. What? But we've lived here for so long. Who would want to buy the entire neighborhood? Some guy named uh, Neil. I don't know. Super rich, though. So we're losing our house, Cameron. We're losing our house. Frank, you can't do this. Don't you have any morals? Nope. The only way we can keep our house is if we buy the property back. And we can't afford this. Oh, why don't you cry about it some more, Steve? Frank, I'm about to hit my limit. Dad, calm down. Frank's not worth it. Well, if you're not paying me, get your stuff and get out. I can't believe this. We barely had enough money to pay for the house, and now I can't even buy the whole property. We're, we're in serious trouble, Cameron. Dad, don't worry. I'm going to help keep the house. I'll get a job. I'll do whatever I can. I just don't know if that's going to be enough, son. Don't know if that's going to be enough.
I can't believe what you're telling me right now. That guy Neil is ruining my life too. Apparently he came into a ton of money and bought the apartment complex my family and I lived in. What? That's crazy. Just because he's rich doesn't mean he should treat people who aren't like this. He needs to be stopped. And the only way to do that is if we get rich. Seriously, you and I get rich? Paul, anything's possible. Trust ah, me. This laptop has been giving me trouble all day. It keeps glitching. It keeps maneuvering. It keeps changing my password. Well, I actually know a couple things about computers. I could help fix it for you. You? You look like some poor nobody. I don't want your greasy fingers on my computer. Hold on, sir. Trust me. Let me take a look. And here you go. All fixed. What do you think? Take a look at it. I don't believe it. It's all good. It works perfectly. It turns on. The screen looks nice. See, I told you, Cameron's really good with computers. Well, you have a pretty good talent right there. Please, let me compensate you. 500 bucks. Oh my goodness. So thank you. No problem. Dude, can you believe that? 500 bucks. Oh, that's awesome, man. I'm telling you right now, Paul, if we keep working hard, then we can start our own computer company and become super rich. What do you say? Yeah, I'm in. Dude, did you hear the news? I guess the manager has a big announcement for us. Man, I really hope it's that promotion. Dude, it's gotta be. You've been working super hard. And I think the manager will really appreciate my work. All right, Paul Cameron, glad you're both here. I have a very special announcement. I am stepping down as management of this company. Wait, what? Really? Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. I know, I know. I'm the best manager on the planet, but there's gonna be some changes made around here. There's gonna be a brand new manager for the company. Neil, come on in. What the? You've got to be kidding me. Hey, guys. Nice to meet you. My name is Neil. I'm the new owner and manager of the company. Wait, hold on. I know you. Oh, hey, what's up, Porzy? <laughs> Neil, what are you doing here? I think Clive here told you I'm the new manager, and I'm going to make this the richest company in the world. And my first order of business is promoting you, Cameron, to janitor. That's not a promotion. That's a demotion. I don't believe this. I don't want to work as janitor. That's not fair. Oh my gosh, stop crying, you poor baby. You'll still get paid well cleaning the floors. Cleaning the floors? This is ridiculous, Neil. You don't even know the first thing about managing a business. You can't do this. Actually, I can. I'm rich. If you are rich, you would understand what you did. You know what? Whatever. I don't have to take this. I'm quitting. You can't quit because you're fired. Get out, poor loser. Oh. Oh, man, I don't believe it. Everybody's moving out. The Jeffersons, the bunkers, this is crazy. They already started putting up those new houses. They shouldn't be kicking us all out for this. Maybe I can sell the car, but how am I gonna get to work? Hey, Dad, are, are you all right? No, Cameron, I'm not all right. I'm stressed out to the max. Some of our neighbors are already packing up their things and leaving. You know the Swansons are gone? The Swansons, Cameron! Oh, man, not the Swansons. Ah, uh, Neil's new rich plans are gonna force everybody out of town, including us. This is crazy. I know, and I've been trying to figure out ways we can save some money, maybe get the property back, but I, I don't think it's possible, Cameron. I'm really sorry. I feel like I'm failing you as your father. What? No, Dad, you are not failing me at all, okay? You can't control all of this. And we're not gonna lose the house. I promise. Cameron, you can't promise that, okay? You barely make enough money as it is. Look, I don't wanna upset you. You just came back from work and I gotta get ready for bed. Just relax, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. Actually, Dad, I got some work to do as well. Hey, Paul, I'm gonna text you an address. Meet me there tomorrow, okay? I've got something big planned for us. All right, Cameron, I'm here. Why'd you tell me to meet you at this weird little store? Because, Paul, I just bought this weird little store. The whole thing. I used my last paycheck. You did what? You're joking, right? This is one of your jokes? I know, I know. It's crazy. It's a little insane. But I'm betting on myself, and I'm starting a company. I'm going to start the best computer company in the world, and I'm going to become the richest person ever because of it. And I want you to join me. Whoa. Dude, you do sound crazy. I'm not going to lie. I'm your best friend, man. I've always got your back. This is really what you want to do? I'll help you no matter what. Really? You mean it? You want to become the richest person ever? We're going to make that happen no matter what. Oh, that sounds like a plan, Paul. Now let's get started. Oh my gosh, it looks like a brand new computer. 
Young man, I am extremely impressed. Here you go, your payment as promised. Oh my goodness, sir, this is $5,000. We only charge 500. Well, consider it an investment, okay? I want your company to be responsible for fixing all the computers at the school. I'm the principal, I make all the deals. What do you say? I say yes, I'm in. Excellent, excellent. Now, how do I turn this thing on? Dude, that's insane. And we're gonna be rich in no time. Man, I got a lot of plans. Let's hope we can get them all running it. Wait a minute. What's that store? There's a lot of people around it. Hey, who is that? I recognize him. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, my name is Neil, as you may know. And thanks to becoming a billionaire, I'm here to unveil the opening of my 10th store in town. This is the exclusive Neil's Electronics Store brought to you by Neil. Neil, you're awesome. Yeah, so funny. I love you, Neil. But don't worry. This isn't over. I'm just getting started. Soon. I'll have stores across the country. I plan on turning this town into the most exclusive rich town there could possibly be, and then I'll be the richest person in the world. Oh, no. This is exactly what I feared. He's going to kick all the poor people out. What's wrong with this guy? Well, I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to become the richest person before he can. I have to get back to the store. All right, Cameron. I think that's enough for me today. Come on, let's head home. No, not yet, man. I still got to work. I have to keep working. We're not doing enough to get rich. Hey, man, you're clearly upset. What's wrong? We've only made $15,000 so far. That's nowhere near enough. What are you talking about? That's really good progress. It's not enough to keep my house. We're running out of time. If we don't get enough work done, then Neil's going to take everything in this town. Look, I know. Neil is out of control. But there's only so much that we can do, man. We've also got to rest, too. Are you exhausted? I am, but trust me, it's for a great reason. Cameron, what did you do? It's a brand new computer that I made. We're going to start manufacturing our own computers, Paul, and selling them. I had no idea you were doing this. This is a great idea. I've been working on this thing forever, probably since I was in middle school. I want to become the next Bill Gates. Yeah, well, with that, you're definitely going to make it. I know it. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm getting really tired. Whoa. What's going on over there? Oh, I know that laugh. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming. Celebrating my new star. Air fresheners by Neil. Wow. What the heck? What are you doing here? I live on this block, man. Neil, what is this all about? Uh, me celebrating being rich and being Neil. Duh. I can't believe you live around here. Well, it's not going to be for long, though. Not gonna be for long. What are you talking about, Neil? I didn't tell you. My next project is tearing this place down and building my upscale shopping center. Oh, great. Another super fancy rich building. So cool, Neil. Yeah, well, poor Z. You might as well just start packing now, okay? Because no broke people are gonna be allowed within 7,000 feet of the building. First off, quit calling me poor Z. Second off, I'm not broke. I'm gonna be the richest person ever. Oh, uh, really? I'd love to see that. Security! Ah, uh, don't worry worry about it. I'm leaving. Can't believe that dumb manager wants me to come to the electronics store. I mean, yeah, I own it, but I don't work there, duh. What the heck is this? That's Cameron's store. Hey, you, normal person. What's all this commotion? There's a new computer out and everybody wants to buy one. So wait in line like the rest wait of us. Wait in line? I'm Neil. I don't wait in lines. Now, where is that stupid idiot? You can't be making millions. You're a poor loser. Well, it looks like I'm no longer poor now, Neil. I worked hard and now it's showing. Whatever. Once all these people find out you're a poor, broke loser, they're not going to buy your computers. Oh, stupid, get out of the way. Uh, hello? Dad, what's up? Cameron, terrible news. We're getting kicked out of the house. We're what? what? Oh man, there are already boxes outside the house. No, no, no. Please, you can't do this to us. Sorry, you're out of time. You and your broke loser son have to go. Frank, you are the worst man I've ever met in my life. Yeah, 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 I know, Frank, I know. please, my whole life is in this house. All the times I had it with my parents. Well, you ain't got money to pay for the house. You can't live here. Point and simple. Frank, listen, I can get you the money. I, I have a business. How much money do I need to get you for the house? A billion dollars. A billion dollars? That's ridiculous. We don't have that kind of money. Nobody well, does. Well, you got until the end of the day to move out. If the bulldozers are coming through, Neil's pushing forward with plans. If you can't buy the land, there's nothing I can do. Well, Dad, this new condo's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, no, Cameron, this is, uh, this is really great. Oh, Dad, come on. I can tell that you're upset. I know. I'm trying to look at the positive side, but just still upset. That home meant so much to me. No, Dad, I understand. It, it meant a lot to me, too. That's the home you grew up in. That was the first place I moved in with 
your mother. It reminds me of her and all the great times we had and now it feels like that time is gone. Oh, Dad, trust me, th those times won't go away. We'll get the house back, I, I promise. I wanna keep mom's memories close to us too. And I'm not gonna let Neil take over the entire town. I'm gonna keep working harder and harder and I'm gonna get our house back. Son, it just feels like it's impossible. Dad, trust me, with a little hard work, nothing is impossible. Cameron, what are we doing here? Shouldn't we be back at the store? No, Paul, and I'm gonna tell you why. Neil has taken so much from all of us because he has the money to do so. Right, I know. He's pretty much monopolized the entire town and I figured out what we're gonna do about it. I bought this factory. Bought this factory? Cameron, how's this gonna help? Paul, the two of us alone can't make enough computers to keep up with demand. I bought this factory so we can give people jobs that Neil has taken away from them. By doing this, we're gonna mass produce more computers and make more money this way. And then we're gonna take back what's ours from Neil. Yeah, that rich jerk's got to be stopped. You know I'm on board. Oh, absolutely. Let's get started. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ex-pro wrestler turned news reporter, Mark Mansley here. And I'm here to interview a real man. This here is Cameron. He is the newest tech sensation. He's got computers that everybody's talking about, and I'm here to figure out what is going on. So tell me, Cameron, what is the key to your incredible success? Well, there's not much to it. We're just really hard workers. We really believe in what we do, and we love computers. You know, I wrestled a computer once, one of the biggest matches in the world. Changed the face of wrestling forever. And now you have changed the world of technology. Oh, thank you, but really, I just want to make better computers for the entire community. Incredible! Your computers have gained notoriety all around the world, much like me, Mark Mansley! Well, thank you so much. Uh, we hope the word gets out and more people are able to look into our computers. Absolutely. I know pure talent when I see it. And you, Cameron, have pure talent! Now tell me, Cameron, are you going to be able to give Mark Mansley one of these computers? Well, I wouldn't refuse anything from you, Mark. Smart man! Smart Man. Mark Mansley here, Channel 7 News. Oh! Ah! Baxter, get in here! Uh, hey, Neil, I'm sorry. Uh, you wanted me? Yeah, I was just watching Mark Mansley, best news reporter ever, and he had Cameron on. Why didn't you tell me Cameron was on TV? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to tell you. Yeah, Cameron's new computers are amazing. They're picking up a lot of steam, and they're trending on Twitter like crazy. You're supposed to be reading Twitter and telling me what's going on. Why do you suck at your job, Baxter? Oh, I'm sorry, Neil. You didn't want me telling you news about Twitter because they kept talking about Cameron. And now I'm being honest, there's something else that I gotta tell you. What is it? Well, due to the rising popularity in Cameron's computers, everybody has been sort of disregarding your brand. Disregarding my brand? I am the brand! Yeah, that's kind of the problem. Nobody really likes you, and we're starting to lose money because of it. The Neil doesn't lose money, okay? He only makes it. Well, regardless, Neil, if this keeps up, we won't be able to keep up our shops. And we're going to have to close down our own tells to. Oh, Baxter, I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna sabotage Cameron, because he's a worthless piece of trash. In the meantime, why don't you go buy me a new TV? Why are you standing around here? Uh, Cameron? Is there a Cameron here? Hello? Uh, yes, I'm Cameron. Uh, how can I help you? Uh, yeah, I was just wondering hey, if- Hey, wait uh... a minute. I recognize you. You're one of Neil's lackeys. What are you doing here? Are you trying to cause trouble? No, no, no. no, no, no. You got it all wrong. I don't want to cause any trouble. He's a jerk. He never gives me any of the credit that I deserve. It's terrible. I want to help and support you instead, Cameron. Oh, Baxter, I I'm really sorry to hear that. But we're always open for help any way you can provide. Oh, thank you. Maybe I can offer some advice on how to improve your computers? Uh, sure, yeah, go ahead. I have a couple ideas that I've been meaning to drum up. Neil would always yell at me and tell me what to do. He would never let me do my own ideas. Wow, these look great. This looks like a really interesting operating system you have developed here. I know. I'm thinking it could make your computers a lot faster. You know what, Baxter? I think this might help us a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, no problem. Hey, Frank, I have business. Come over here. I want to talk to you. Cameron, I don't have time for your sob stories, all right? This isn't no sob story, Frank. I want to buy back the property of the neighborhood. <laughs> good joke, good joke, but I got work to do here. I'm not joking. I want to buy back the property of the neighborhood right now. I have the cash. One billion dollars, Frank. You can have it right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's talk business. Uh, Frank, what is going on here? Uh, Mr. Neil, uh, Cameron's come with a better offer and I gotta take it. I gotta sell 
the property to him. Uh, no way. Whatever he's offering you, I'll double it. What? No, fine. I can pay $5 billion. $5 billion? You don't have that kind of money. I absolutely do. You know what? Fine then. I'll pay $20 billion. There's no way you have that much. Yeah, I don't have that much. Darn. Huh. Poor Z. Frank, this property belongs to me, and it always will. All right, all right. I'm getting 20 billion for this junky plot of land. This is awesome. You're never going to be as rich as me, Cameron. Accept it. I'm on my way to be richer than you will ever be, Neil. You're going to pay for this. Trust me. Soon you're going to lose everything. Just wait and see. Lose everything? What's he talking about? There's no need to yell. This pewter's a piece of trash, and I want a refund! Uh, what's the problem, sir? Is there any way I can help? Hey, you're Cameron, right? I saw you on Mark Mansley! Your computer is garbage! It looks like there's a virus on it. It just keeps turning off. You're getting a full refund, sir. Don't worry. You're right I'm getting a full refund. And I'm gonna tell everybody how garbage your computers are. I'm gonna tweet at Mark Mansley about this. He's gonna be so mad at you, he's gonna suplex you from the top rope! Dude, please, no, don't worry. Don't tell Mark Mansley. Oh, no. Oh, man. The store's a complete ghost town. Nobody trusts our brand anymore after that virus incident. This is terrible, Paul. I was looking over all the paperwork, Cameron. We've lost a lot of money, and we have to close down the factory. No, we can't close down the factory. There's got to be something we can do. Maybe we can just collect whatever money we have left that we saved up. I can try, but Cameron, this is not good. Soon, we're not going to be able to afford to keep this running anymore. Going to have to close down the store, lay off a lot of people. Oh, man, I can't believe this. Ugh. I'll be right back. I have to go see somebody. Ladies and gentlemen, calm down, okay? I'm sorry, we only have five left. Just wait in line, but we'll have more for you tomorrow. Hey, Neil, we gotta talk. I don't talk to Porzies. Enough of that Porzy stuff. You went way over the line this time. That was a dirty move sending Baxter to ruin my computers. Sending who? What? I don't even know a Baxter. You sent in that little twerp to come in and put a virus into my computer. That ruined my whole business. There's no way you can prove that. I didn't do anything. You're just jealous. Jealous of what? My own computer? That's definitely my design over there. No, it's not. You're just not as innovative as me, okay? You know what? It doesn't even matter. Every time you knock me down, I'm just gonna have to keep coming back up. I'm going to become the richest person ever. Just you wait. Thank you, citizens, for joining us today on such a momentous occasion. We have the richest person in town with us today, Neil. Yeah, nice to be here, guys. Now, Neil, we want to thank you for everything you've done for this town. Tearing down the ugly old buildings and building new, rich, fancy ones. Of course, because rich is better. Ha <laughs> ha yeah. For all that you've done for us, we want to give you the keys to the city. Oh, Mr. Mayor, you shouldn't have. Huh? You're welcome. Uh, okay. Well, now that I've got the key to the city, does that mean, like, I can do whatever I want? Well, with, within reason. Excellent. First order of business, I'm going to make some changes around this town. What did you have in mind? This is now a rich people only town so there are no poor people allowed all broke losers living here have to be kicked out and they have 24 hours to leave <gasps> neil you, you can't possibly so that's it poor people chop chop okay get out of here bye especially you cameron get out ladies and gentlemen welcome to the manliest hour on tv the mark mansley hour Thank you, thank you. Now, today on the Mark Mansley Hour, we have a man that I'm sure you all already know about already. His name is Neil. Thank you all. Yeah, thank you so much. Neil, it is a pleasure to have you on the Mark Mansley Hour. It's a pleasure to be here, Mark. Now, I brought you on today to talk about your computers. You're absolutely swiping the nation, much like how I used to sweep the rig. Yeah, well, of course. I mean, no one wants to buy a computer that doesn't work. Oh, you're talking about that little loser, Cameron, and his pathetic scams of PCs. I swear where if I ever see that man again one day, I'm gonna suplex him off the top row. Would love to see it, Mark. Oh. Now, Neil, are you ready for the big upcoming technology convention? You know I am. Not only that, but the winner receives $30 billion. Are you up for the job? Are you gonna win? No, you know I'm gonna win, Mark. Oh, I'm actually developing a brand new computer. The NPC 2. Whoa! Incredible name. Soon, Neil, you're gonna be the richest man in the world. No one's gonna stop you. You're gonna go in that convention and sweep the house. Much like I did when I was in the ring for the belt. 
Cameron, I just want to say thank you. Oh, it's no problem. Just helping you move and stuff. It's the least I can do. Yeah, but Cameron, you shouldn't have. You bought this house for me and my family. We were forced out by Neil. You came to the rescue. Hey, I was just doing what anybody else would have done. You were wrongfully pushed out. It's not fair to you and your family. You needed a place to live. You deserved it. Well, thank you. I thought for a while my family would be homeless. Thanks to you, you've saved everyone in the neighborhood. Well, you know, it was the least I could do. I still feel bad for not being able to buy the old neighborhood back. Well, your kindness won't be forgotten, Cameron. I promise you. Cameron, you cannot be serious right now. I found out that you bought Walter and his family a house. You should have let me help you pay for it. Paul, you have bills to pay too, man. You need to use the money to take care of yourself. And what are you doing, huh? Spending all of your money trying to help everybody else out. I don't care about that. I don't want to see anybody else suffer because of Neil. He's already done enough damage. Until I figure out a way to get those viruses off the computer, we can't go back into business. Exactly. And that's what you need to do. Let me help Walter get settled back in. You get back to work. <sighs> okay. There's got to be something I'm just not seeing. Maybe Neil's virus can be reworked out of the computer if I just go back into the files. And oh, oh my gosh. It's on fire. How is it on fire? Come on. How is this even possible? Oh, gosh. Oh, Cameron, okay. are you okay? Heard you screaming. Oh, Dad, what are you doing here? I was coming by to check on you. I haven't heard from you in days. I'm sorry, Dad. I've just been working here trying to get Neil's virus out of the computer. Well, you can't stay cooped up here in this terrible apartment. Neil's going to be tearing this place down soon. You're going to have to come back and live with me. No, Dad, I can't. I have to stay here and finish this. If I don't end up fixing the computers and the whole company goes on, You're just staying here because you're punishing yourself, aren't you? You know what, Dad? You're right. I am punishing myself. I failed. I failed you. I failed my friends and I failed the town. I don't know what to do. The well, first thing you need to do is calm down. Everything's going to be fine, Cameron. There are going to be failures in your life and there's nothing that you can do about it. Will you give up or will you find a way to turn that failure into a success? You know what, Dad? You're right. I've been working way too hard just to give up now. Thanks for the pet talk, Dad. I got to get back to work. New town, but same goal. And I'm gonna help everybody that Neil has hurt so far. Ah, uh, speaking of which. Come on, guys, this sign isn't level. I don't believe this, Neil. What are you doing here? Oh, Porzy. What are you doing here? Surprised you're even in this town. Thought you'd be like living on the streets, homeless, begging for money. <laughs> yeah, whatever, Neil. What's this all about anyway? Don't you have enough stores as it is? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm expanding both my company and my rich towns. All thanks to you. What do you mean thanks to me? You know that little virus that's on your computers? It's actually sending me back all your tech information. Anything you try to do to get rid of it or fix it, it's sent back to me, making my computers better what you mean this whole time you've just been stealing my information oh my you are evil neil i prefer to be more of a genius but whatever and i'm gonna buy this town soon make it a complete entertainment town i'm gonna call it neil town or neilville i haven't decided yet oh i get it making exclusive only to rich people i'm going to win that competition just give up i know you haven't gotten rid of the virus yet well trust me neil i'm already this close to getting the virus off of my computer i'm not gonna let you get away with this and once it's off then my computer's gonna win that competition and i'm gonna save everybody back in town just you wait yeah well we'll see about that Horsey. Baxter, I need you to keep an eye on Cameron. I need you to get me my latte. Where are you? I gotta find a way to stop, Neil. This virus is getting out of control. Oh, man, Paul's calling me. What's up, Paul? Hey, man, I need you to meet me somewhere. Are you free? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, where are we meeting? I'll text you the address. Be there in an hour. So what's the big deal, Paul? Well, why are we meeting in front of this small store? I figured you need to get back into making computers. So I bought this store. Paul, you did what? You didn't have to do that. You should have contacted me first. We're partners, remember? Dude, you've been so down lately. I figured you need something to cheer you up. Plus, we're not just business partners. We're friends. I see you're in trouble and I want to do anything to help you. Oh man, Paul, you have no idea how much this means to me. Seriously, thank you. I think it's time to get back to work. 
Well, it looks like this is starting to work again. People are buying computers, coming to get theirs repaired. Business is doing not great, but pretty good. With that said, we're gonna stop selling the computers. What? How can we make money if we don't sell computers? Because instead, we're gonna make a brand new computer. This is a brand new PC that I developed. It's not only more powerful than the PCs we have now, but on top of that, it protects itself against Neil's virus. Whoa, this thing looks sick too. But this is just a prototype. I'm gonna present the real one at the technology convention. Oh, you mean the convention that you're gonna win? Oh man, let's hope. Oh, oh my gosh, what happened? I don't know, I think we lost power. I think the whole town lost power. Oh man, I'm getting a call from the mayor. Mayor, what's going on? Hi, are you the technology man I've heard so much about? Well, yes, mayor, it's me. Uh, how can I help? I need you to come down to my office immediately. Hey, Mr. Mayor, I'm here. What's going on? Why is all the power going out? Well, the whole city has lost power due to a virus. It happened once that man Neil opened his new electronics store in town. Well, I have a prototype computer that can actually help us. Prototype computer? Okay, listen, I'm just a simple man, okay? You think you can fix this or not? Oh, no, absolutely I can fix this. This is going to help us get rid of his virus and hopefully bring the power back. See, Mr. Mayor? Should be all fixed now. Oh, my goodness. Look, the lots are back. Oh, thank goodness. I love lots. It's so pretty and it lets you say things. So Neil's virus must affect all technology around his stores, forcing people to come and buy his products. Well, I don't like the sound of that one bit, but thank goodness you saved the town. Here, this is for you. Well, thank you. One million dollars. Oh my goodness. This is way too much. Consider it just a little investment. I want you and your computers to help restore this whole city. It's old, trashy, and I hate well, it. Well, uh, absolutely. If it means helping the city. I love to and expect more jobs and more money where this came from, my friend. Uh oh, I gotta call Neil. Uh, Neil? I'm sorry, I told you never to call me. What do you want? Uh, I think you're gonna have to come back into town. I'm in Fiji. I know, but we might have a problem. Baxter, you suck. I hate you. And with that, it's done. Man, this thing is sick. And it's working great. With this new computer, it'll definitely protect itself from Neil's virus. We'll present this at the convention and reveal Neil for who he truly is. Well, let's go get some food. We've been working hard. Yeah, and I'm starving. I know you're up to something stupid, Porzy. I'm gonna teach you a dumb lesson. Ha 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 ha, sweet. Let's see you win the convention now. Ha 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 ha. Oh my gosh, Cameron! Oh, the store's on fire! No! I don't believe this! Dude, and the computer's in there! It's probably melted and destroyed a bit! Oh no, man, no! I can't let everybody down again! I don't think the computer's completely destroyed! Maybe I can run in and get it! You've gotta be insane! You can't do that! I have no choice! Cameron, wait! Cameron, come on! Get out of there! Cameron! <laughs> Dude, you are crazy for doing that! You know that, right? Yeah, well, crazy or not, I got the laptop. Yeah, luckily, you've got to go to that convention, though. I have to call the fire department, and good luck. Well, Neil, I must say, this computer is incredible. Yeah, it's called the Neil PC 2, or the NPC 2. Yes, well, it looks as though you're going to be the winner of- Oh my word, I hate the dog! Oh. My goodness. What? Porzy? What are you doing here? I'm here to expose you for the fraud that you are. Ladies and gentlemen, Neil has been using a virus to force you all to buy his technology. What? Is that real? What? No. No, he's lying. He's poor and he's lying. Neil's virus absolutely can do that. It's how it shut the power off in the town. My computer, however, can stop his virus from infecting others. Well, this is quite a computer. No, wait. The computer sucks. Look at the Neil PC too. See, it can do me. No, turn back on. The heck, no. Well, Neil, looks like you finally got what you deserve. Well, Cameron, welcome back to the technology world. This computer is the winner of the competition. No, I can't believe it. I won. Hey, yo, stop right there. Yeah, you're never gonna catch me, Kappa. Yeah, well, I will. Huh? Ow! What the heck? Dude, you're under arrest, Jimmy. You're going away for a long time. Hey, man, thanks for all your help. This guy's a slippery one. Oh, wait, hold up. He dropped this dollar. Hey, you can keep it. Looks like you need it more than he does. Whoa, a whole dollar. You know, this is a sign. I'm going to use this dollar. Turn my whole life around. Change? Anyone? Spare change? Please, guys. Danny! Danny! Oh, David, what's going on? Why are you so happy? I want to show you this. Look! 
This might just look like a simple dollar to anyone else, but to us, Danny, this is our chance. Our chance for what? We've been homeless our entire lives. I feel like there's not much we can do with just a dollar. It's not about the dollar. It's about the opportunity this is gonna bring us. Look, you're my little brother, and I promise to always take care of you. And this is gonna help us. Just wait and see. Oh, you stupid piece of junk. Oh man, what's wrong with that guy? I drop you once and suddenly you don't wanna work anymore. Ugh, worthless cell phone. I'm just gonna throw it away. A cell phone? Wait, wait, sir, sir, hold up. Uh, sorry, bud, I don't have any spare change on me. No, no, I just heard you broke your phone and you're gonna just throw it out? Yeah, it's good as useless. Well, if you're just gonna throw it away, uh, I'll take it. Oh, yeah? Well, what's in it for me, huh? I'll buy it off of you. I've got a dollar, but this is all I've got. Ah, sweet. Yeah, here you go, man. I'll take that. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just, just don't talk to me anymore. Are you sure that was the right thing to do, David? I mean, the phone's totally busted. Yeah, this thing is a mess. But I think I can fix it. All right, just this one last thing and that's it. I think I fixed it. Yeah, this thing almost works like it's brand new. Now let's see if I can sell it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, selling a cell phone right here. Someone say they're selling a phone? Yeah, that's right. It may look old, but I just fixed it up myself. It's basically brand new. Check it out. All right, you know what? I think I'll give you 50 bucks for it. How does that sound? 50 bucks? Oh, that sounds perfect. You've got a deal. All right, sweet. 50 whole dollars. That's more than me and Danny have had in years. Oh man, we're finally gonna eat good tonight. Danny, I told you this was gonna work. I sold that phone for 50 bucks, dude. 50 whole dollars? No way, that, that's insane. We're like rich. We've never made this much money before. I told you that dollar was gonna change our lives to the better. And things are finally starting to go our way. Oh God, there's people living out here. Yeah, you guys gotta go. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, I own this building over here. This is our property. David, th this is our home. You're right, this is our home. And I'm sorry, but we're not going anywhere. Well, you better. Better. We're gonna tear this building down tomorrow morning. You're what? Yeah, someone bought the land and they're tearing it down. I made a fortune off this. So you're gonna have to live somewhere else, idiots. Look, don't worry about all that stuff, Danny, okay? We'll figure it out. Just eat some dinner, okay? How can I eat if we don't even know where we're gonna sleep tonight? Come on, we've been through worse things than this. Remember when we were stuck under that bridge in the snowstorm? Now, come on, this has to be some of the best food I've ever tasted in my life. Yeah. You know, th this is really good. Y you're right. Wow. You know, Danny, I think that's the first time in months I've actually seen you smile. Well, it's the first time in months I'm not eating out of the garbage. Well, say goodbye to that life, Danny, because we're on to bigger and better things. Oh, hey, you're the guy that sold me that phone, right? Uh, yeah, that's me. Dude, that phone worked better than a brand new one. I'm a huge tech guy, and you definitely know your stuff, all right. You're a tech guy? Of course, man. I work in an electronics store. I know all kinds of stuff. And listen, the type of talent you have cannot go wasted. Why don't you uh come work with us, man? Are you offering me a job right now? Yeah, I am. That's what I just said. Uh, you want to take the deal or what? Oh, 100%. I'd love the job. All right, good. Come tomorrow at 9 a.m. sharp. Don't be late. I can't believe it, my first day at a real job. I'm gonna start making real money now. All right, time to get to work. Hi, welcome in, uh, how can I help you? Yeah, I need someone to fix my phone. All right, well, let me take a look at it. Well, it looks like you live on the streets. I'm not having you fix my phone, you're gonna steal it. Sir, I promise you, I'm not gonna steal your phone, I actually work here. Yeah, well, I'm actually grossed out right now. I would never let some gross poor person touch my phone. Stupid place, hiring dumb poor people. People. What the heck? Hey, dude, what, what was that all about? You lost a customer. Uh, I know, and I'm so sorry. He didn't want my help because he thought I looked poor. Oh, really? Ah, forget about him then. We don't need him. Really? You're not upset I just lost a customer? No, dude. If he left because of that, then we don't want customers like that anyway. And I promise you one thing. Not everyone is going to be like that, all right? So keep your head up. Wow. Thanks, Jeff. You know, I really appreciate that. It's not every day that people are actually nice to me. Oh, also, uh, here's your first paycheck. A paycheck? N no way. Yes way. Uh, it's $500. And you know what? On top of that, I'm going to give you an advance. An advance? With the money, just go take a shower, man, and, and clean yourself up. I want people to start treating you with the respect you deserve.
Chaw, man. So, like, the texts are just not going through, dude. I gotta message my mom. Well, the thing is, your phone is stuck on airplane mode. So, all you need to do is press this button, and you'll be getting your service back. Oh, Chaw. I love airplanes. And I'm guessing that's why you clicked the airplane mode button? Chaw, I thought an airplane was gonna appear. D don't judge me, all right? Hey, hey, man. No judgment, okay? I'm just glad I could help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is he, uh? Where's the thief? There he is. Oh, gosh, you? All right, all right. Everyone gather around. Listen up. This guy right here, he's a criminal. He stole my phone and he's going to steal yours too. It's crazy that the store over here is just hiring criminals. None of this is true. David, you're a criminal? Uh, no, I'm not. Huh, sounds like what a criminal would say. Exactly, dude. I'm just trying to do your business a favor. Thank you so much for your help. You really are a good person. David, you need to get out of here now. You're firing me? Yeah, I just did like two seconds ago. Now get out of here before I call the cops. Ugh, that guy Anthony's gonna be nothing but a thorn in my side. I can't believe he got me fired. Oh, man. What am I going to tell Danny now? Hey, dude, wait up. Jeff, look, I'm sorry about all that that happened back there. You should have never given me an opportunity in the first place. Are you kidding me? The people back there should be sorry, dude. The entire store is like crazy. So you don't believe them? I know you are, right? There's no way that you're a thief. And plus, you've only been there for like a couple of days. I don't know where that guy got all the information from. He just made it up. That guy has been after me ever since he saw me sell that phone to you. He was just doing all that stuff just to be a jerk. Well, don't worry, man, because I quit. I'm not working for anyone that's like that. You quit? Jeff, you can't just quit. What are you going to do now? Well, that's why I'm here, David. I think that you have the right skills necessary. And I think if we combine our brain power, we can make our own business. Our own business? Oh, man, I love the sound of that, but it does not seem easy. I never said it was going to be easy. I just know that we can do it. Danny, I've got some great news and some bad news. All right, well, just give me the bad news. Get that over with. Well, I kind of got fired at my job. Wait, what? And there's good news to follow? How? Well, this is going to give me an opportunity to start my own business. I'm going to start working with Jeff. Whoa, really? Starting a business from nothing? That's insane. Yeah, it sounds a little bit insane, but I know with some hard work and with Jeff by my side, I'll definitely be able to succeed. Well, you know what? I believe in you. I mean, I think that you can do anything that you set your mind to. And I'm going to be here to support you no matter what, okay? I knew you'd have my back. I promise you, Danny, this business is going to be so big and successful. We're not even going to remember all of this. We're going to have our own home, our own beds, our own food, maybe even a couple cars. We're never going to have to worry about anything ever again. I promise you that, Danny. So, David, are you ready? Oh, more than anything, let's start this business. And just like that, good as new. I think if I make this adjustment, yeah, your TV's working just fine now. Oh, man, you see, look, you've got too many games on your computer. That's why it's slowed down. You just got to get rid of some, that's all. Well, the house isn't much, and it's been on the market for about, like, two weeks now. No one's buying it. Oh, I'll take it. Oh, you got yourself a deal. Congratulations, you're now a homeowner. Welcome to stress and anxiety. Uh, thanks? This is really incredible. After all that hard work, I promised Danny we were going to change our lives, and now look, I own a home for the both of us. I cannot wait to see the look on Danny's face when he sees this. Oh, hold on a second. What's this? Phone call from the hospital? Uh, uh, hello? Yeah, this is David. What? Danny's in the hospital? So, Doc, how bad is it, really? Well, David, it's not looking too great. Your brother's really sick, and he's gonna need some special treatment. Some special treatment? Well, whatever it takes. He's my little brother. I want him to get better. Well, I'm gonna warn you, it's gonna cost a lot of money. A lot of money? How much are we talking here? Well, it's probably gonna be thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands. I don't know. I'm a doctor. Well, whatever it is, I don't care. It's just as long as he gets better. All right, suit yourself. Danny, how are you feeling, buddy? Uh, I feel terrible. Well, don't worry. We'll start your treatment and you'll be feeling better soon. No, I mean, I, I feel bad about the sickness, but I don't want you to waste all your money on me. Danny, come on. Let's not think about that right now. You've been working really hard and me getting sick. I can't help but just blame myself for this. Well, don't. This is definitely not your fault. Just focus on getting better. You're the most important thing in my life, not my money. 
Yeah, the doctor said it was really bad. I just hope he pulls through soon. Aw, oh, man. I'm sorry, David. I don't know what else to say, really. No, what do you say in this situation? Some really bad news. Well, don't worry. Y you can pull through. I'm sure of it. You guys are strong. I sure hope so, because... I'm sorry, Jeff. I've got some bad news. I have to come up with a way to pay for Danny's treatment and medicine, and it's super expensive. Oh man, that sounds like it's a lot. Uh, listen, uh, I think I have an idea. Trust me, at this point, I'm all ears. All right, well, as much as I don't want to do it, but I think our only option is maybe we should just give up the office. It'll help us save a lot more money for Danny's surgery. You know, I think I actually have to agree with you. I don't like this idea at all. How are we going to keep the business going without an office? I don't know, man. We can figure it out. We just got to combine our brain power. Maybe we can, like, run it out of your garage or something. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. We can go door to door and still repair stuff and put in people's homes. And don't worry, because we're going to do whatever it takes to help your brother. Well, I think this is all set, and you're good to go. Man, he got so many spam emails. Well, that was quick and easy. Here you go. Everything's all set. All right, Jeff, we've got one more customer left today, and then we'll be set for the weekend. Hey, are you guys here to fix my TV? Yep, that's us. Oh, great. I need it. I gotta watch the game. Come on inside. Well, all it looks like is really a little simple power outage. Just gotta replace this, and yeah, look, here you go. Everything's all fixed. Oh, this is great. Thank you guys so much. Oh, and uh, unfortunately, sir, uh, we have to kind of let you know that our service price has gone up a little bit. Gone up? What do you mean? Why? My goodness, your breath smells. Uh, there, there's a huge demand right now and it's only the two of us working so we kind of have to raise the price look we're really sorry maybe we can have you pay our old rate instead no no you know what you guys did a great job here you go thank you so much for the help all right, doctor, here you go. Here's the first payment. It's about $5,000, but I'm working on my way to get more money, and I'll get all of it, I promise. Uh, yeah, I guess it's a good place to start. Must be difficult, you know, being poor. Yeah, it is. So tell me, how's Danny doing? Well, honestly, things aren't looking so great right now, but as long as we keep the treatments going, there's still a chance that he can make a full recovery. Well, we're gonna do whatever it takes. I made Danny a promise. I'd always be there for him, and that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah, okay. As long as you get the money, I don't really care what you do. All right, I'm out of here. Well, your doctor's a total jerk. <coughs> uh, he's not that bad. How's work going? Uh, busy. Insanely busy. Everything's going fine. Look, I know you've been super hungry, so I got you this. Keep it quiet, okay? I'm sure the doctor won't really like it if you're having a burger. Hey, take it easy, man, all right? Don't push yourself too hard. Okay, I promise. I love you. Uh, I love you too, Danny. Please, sir, that's why I need this loan. My brother is in desperate need of treatment, and I don't have the money to pay for it. Look, kid, without any credit, banks ain't gonna give you a loan. Sorry. There's gotta be something we can do. You know what you can do? You can go back in time and make yourself rich. Other than that, nothing. You know, you're a really rude person. Oh, stupid idiot. What? Anthony, what do you want? I was just kind of curious, you know, what is a person like you doing at a place like this? A person like me? This is a bank. It's a public space. Yeah, dude, and I've never seen someone as poor as you here before. It's kind of funny, actually. It's none of your business why I'm here, Anthony. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry. I was just distracted, you know, because I was here to put some of my money into my account, not beg for it like some kind of stupid loser. You know what, Anthony? Leave me alone. I have a business to run and I'll have time for this nonsense. Oh, is that what you're calling it now? A business? Please. Anthony, I'm gonna be richer than you before you know it. Just wait and see. Yeah, yeah, walk away, you coward, and don't come back. All right, I'm on to my next client. At least I have work to do. Get my mind off of that jerk, Anthony. Uh, hello? Hi, my name is David. I'm here to fix your phone. Oh my gosh, this is so awkward. Uh, I forgot to call and cancel my appointment. Cancel the appointment? Oh no, did something happen? Uh, well, I just don't need your services anymore. Don't need my services? And I'll tell you what, Clark. Next time this happens, give me a call and I'll bring a pizza with me. We can watch the game and, you know, just hang out. Oh, you're the best, Anthony. Here you go. Wait, what? What is going on here? Oh, uh, Clark, is this guy asking you for money? Yeah, he kind of is. Can you kick him out for me, too? Listen, sir, all right, you gotta leave the property. This is a private property. I know exactly what you're doing, Anthony. Stop playing these stupid games. Uh, look, I gotta go to work, so I think Baldy need to get out of here. All right, Clark, take care. I'll see you in two weeks when your phone breaks again. You didn't even fix his phone, did you? If I did, if I didn't, what does it matter? All I gotta say, thanks for the brilliant business idea.
idea. I'm doing exactly what you're doing, but at a cheaper rate. Yeah, but you're straight up ripping these people off. I don't care. I don't know them. I'll tell you what, David. Just for fun, I'm going to run your company to the ground. No way. You've got to be kidding me. Everywhere I went, Anthony just showed up and stole my customers. He brought like a free pizza with him too. <sighs> that man is out of control. You know what? We just need to ignore him and keep working super hard. Hey, are you tired of working super hard? Do you need something repaired? The most important question. Do you hate people named David? <laughs> well, I got a deal for you. Call 123 and you'll get the best business from me. To summarize, like I'll fix your things and stuff like that, you know. Look at this guy. You got to be kidding me. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. Look, Jeff, I know it's annoying, but you just got to calm down, man. It's hard to calm down. This has been my life's work. I hate seeing people like that just ruin it for us. He's an insult to tech geniuses everywhere. Look, Jeff, everything's going to be fine, all right? Take a deep breath. Relax. All right, sorry. I just take it personally when tech is involved. I'll tell you what, David. We're going to go march down to his store, and, and we're going to confront this jerk. You know what, Jeff? I actually think that's a great idea. All right, this is the place. Looks like he's having some kind of grand opening. Look at all these people. I'm gonna give that jerk a piece of my mind. So what do you want to say to me, huh? Listen, first of all, buddy, you know nothing about tech, and I want to make that very clear, because I'm taking that personally. Secondly, we know that you've been poaching all of our clients. Yeah, and it's the greatest idea I've ever had. But why? Why are you doing this to just us? It's because I don't believe in you, David. And honestly, I don't really like you. You don't even know me. Yeah, well, all I know is that you took my phone and you double-crossed me. All of this seriously is because of the phone? Just let it go, man. You're ruining my life. It's not like you had much of a life anyways. Hey, buddy, you don't talk to my friend like that. Jeff, don't worry. I got this. We know that you're doing a terrible job at this as well. And soon your customers are going to see the truth. Then they're going to stop coming to you. Yeah, well, whatever. I don't even care because by then my pockets are going to be so full I can buy whatever I want. Now you better get off my property before one of my security guards kicks you off by force. All right, Jeff, I know it's been rough, but let's just focus on work today. So who have we got lined up? No one, man. We haven't been receiving any calls from anyone. How is that even possible? People break their phones like every single day. Not even our old customers are calling us back. We haven't had a customer in days, and I'm sure we both know why. Yeah, Anthony, and I'm sure he's probably extremely busy stealing from his customers. Uh, it just makes me so mad that people like that are getting away with this stuff. David, I, I don't know how to say this, but we can't keep our company afloat at this rate. Rate. We're probably gonna have to close. No, 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 we can't close the business. I'm so close to having all the money for Danny's treatment. If we just keep working harder, it, it'll work. I, I'm sorry, David. I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm at a loss. Yeah, trust me. I feel the same way. Maybe I should sell the house and my car. Then I'll have enough money for Danny. But in the meantime, you're right. We're probably gonna have to close the business. But I'm not done just yet, Jeff. I think I have an idea. So, Danny, how are you feeling? I'm actually feeling a lot better. Well, that's because you had a successful treatment in full. You're going to be okay now. So, Danny, you can finally go home. If you do even have a home. Uh, thanks, Doc. Danny, what's wrong? You're finally feeling better and we're getting out of this hospital. But you look so sad. Yeah, I'm, I'm grateful that I, I'm feeling better. I just, we don't have a home to go to, David. And it's all because I got sick. Danny, how many times have I got to tell you, man? Stop blaming yourself. You couldn't help it. Yeah. Now, well, imagine if the situations were reversed. You'd be feeling the exact same way I am right now. Yeah, you know, you're probably right. But luckily, we're not in that situation. You're feeling better? We're going to work hard on making better lives for ourselves. I'm sad, too. I'm sad that you never got to see the house I bought for us. But I'm glad you're still here. And that's the most important thing of all. Look, this isn't the home I wanted for us, but this is all I could afford right now. Are you kidding me? I'm pumped. Danny, this is a super tiny apartment. This thing was built back in the 50s. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure that tiny box we were living in a few months ago was built who knows how long. We have our own place to call home now. Yeah, I guess that's true. I just want to thank you again for everything that you've done for us. I'd do anything for my little brother. You know what, David? I'm going to promise you something. Now that I'm feeling better, I'm going to go and help you with work too. Danny, there's no more company anymore. I had to shut everything down. Well, we'll start it back up again. You know that we were taught whenever we got knocked down, we would get right back up. Yeah, that's true. And you can't give up right now. You're right again, as usual. So I guess we're starting the business back up. But how? Where? You know what? I think I've got the perfect place. 
Hey, Marty, we, we really need your help. You're the manager of this entire mall. Is there anything that you could do? Anything for you, man. You guys actually know each other? Danny used to hold the door for the elderly when going into the mall. I was just trying to be nice to people. We don't need a store. I, I was just wondering if we can have like a kiosk or something. Yeah, no worries. I got you. I know you guys are strapped for cash, so you can have it for super cheap. Wow. Thank you so much. You're not going to regret this, I promise. Yeah, well, good luck with everything, guys. Now, I'm going to go play at the new arcade that just opened up. <laughs> See what I mean? Together, there's nothing that we can't do. Yeah, you're right. Now, let's get this business back up again. Hi, sir. Do you want your phone fixed? No, you poor creep. Get lost. Oh, man. This is almost as tough as being homeless. People just ignore me and insult me. You just got to keep trying, all right? Hey, David, there you are. I think I remember you. You were one of my old customers. Yeah, that's right. I actually have been looking for you for a little while. You've been looking for me? I was hoping you could uh, fix my computer. What happened to it? I thought you were having Anthony fix your stuff. Well, I thought he was gonna fix my stuff, but he didn't fix anything actually, so could you do it for me? Yeah, of course. Let me take a look at it right now. I can't believe he made this rookie mistake. I just gotta fix this and boom. Oh, great. This is awesome. Thank you so much. I'm gonna give you $10 off my price because you went to Anthony first. Here you go. Thank you so much. Anybody that has broken stuff that Anthony quote-unquote fixed can come to me and they'll get $10 off the deal. I will. I want everyone to know. I think we're finally on to something. Listen, man, I don't know what to say. What do you mean you don't know what to say? The phone's broken. It's your job to fix it. First of all, I don't know what I'm doing. Secondly, you're really annoying. You're the one that promised to fix my stuff. Listen, you cannot judge me for not knowing how to fix it if you don't even know how to fix it. What? That doesn't make any sense. Well, you're the one that broke it. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to the guys at the mall. At least they can fix it. Well, I don't want you anyway. What was he talking about? Guy at the mall? There's a new business? Gotta go see what's up with that. Wait a second. Do my eyes deceive me? David and his stupid little brother Danny. What do you think you're doing, huh? I'm just working, actually, Anthony. Do you have something that needs to be fixed? Yeah, this kiosk. I want it to be destroyed. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. Listen, there's gonna be a 30-minute wait right now because we're fixing all the problems that you've caused these people. Oh, this is not over. So the business is back. And we're actually kind of doing better than before. We want you to come back to work with us, Jeff. Wait, seriously? We're so busy at the mall now. The manager actually wants us to move into an actual store. Yeah, all of our hard work is really paying off. Guys, uh, of course, I'm, I'm in. And I also have some great news. Instead of telling you, let me show you. Ladies and gentlemen, Anthony is officially closing down his tech repair company. Here's an audio clip this reporter caught earlier today. I can't take it anymore. I know everything and you know nothing. As you can see, nobody wants to work with someone like that. But now with this tech repair company down, who's gonna fix our broken phones? Looks as though karma is finally coming back for Anthony, isn't it? And the next people up in line is us. Him out of our way, no one is gonna stop us. But I have a bad feeling about this. What do you mean? Anthony is out of the picture. I have a feeling this isn't the last we'll see of Anthony. Thank you everyone so much for coming today. And I know you guys are all here to check this out. This is the mini block cell phone. It's better and faster than most phones on the market. And they can only be sold exclusively at our stores next week. Yeah, man, I need that phone. Oh, uh, David, it's so cool. The store is open. Do you see how many people are at this store launch? Look at all of our hard work paying off. It's been five years and we are doing great. I need help. All right, I better go help the customers. Danny, can you do me a favor? Put this phone in the safe, okay? In the safe? safe? Why? This is our prototype. And I don't know. I've got a sneaking suspicion. With the launch of this new phone, we can make millions. Everything has to go perfectly. Yeah, I'll go put it in the safe in the office. In the office, did they say, huh? I'm sick of David always succeeding. It's time I remind him who he really is. All right, just gotta be careful. Can't let anyone see me. Dang, this office isn't secure at all. What do you think you're doing here? Are you looking for this? I, uh, it's none of your business why I'm here. Well, you're not doing any late night shopping. The store's closed, and I just caught you breaking in. You saw nothing. I saw you at the grand opening of the store, and I knew you were up to something. Trying to steal my success as usual, huh? You are the poor homeless loser that sold for me to be at where you are today. And I want to make sure that you... You never forget it. So take this. Come on, seriously? You think that's my only prototype? Oh, where are they at? You're never gonna find out. In the next upcoming weeks, you're gonna realize this is only the beginning.
So what should we do now? He got away. We need to make sure we keep calling the cops. We got to get him arrested for breaking in. Honestly, it's probably just a waste of time. He'll make up some excuse and find some way to get out of it. He always does. Yeah, well, if we do nothing, then he's going to be back to ruin the launch. You can't let that happen. And I know he's just going to keep messing with us to do just that, but I'm not going to let him. Well, I know all this stuff is going on right now, but David, I, I actually have some really good news. What have you got? We're going to have a meeting with the global tech, the biggest tech company in the world. That's incredible. Why do they want to meet with us? Well, they didn't say, but this could be a huge deal. This is insane. Well, we've got to meet with them and see what they want. Oh my goodness. I'm breathing the same air as his global tech. This is the best feeling of my life. Take it easy, bud. David, Jeff, it's great to see you too. Listen, sir, I just want to say I'm such a such a huge fan. And what is he doing here? Are we ready to start or what? Yes, absolutely. My time is money, so let's get this thing going. We are having huge issues with our computer system. And you two are the biggest tech companies around. Yeah, well, it's good to generalize, but let's be honest. I have the best tech company around. Well, actually, Anthony, that's pretty debatable. You closed your company didn't you? Because it failed? I don't recall. I'm sorry, sir. Please continue. Look, regardless, we need both of you guys' help. And David, you're developing, so you've got to be a smart cookie. Oh, uh, I'd like to think so. All right, enough small talk. Whoever fixes the computer system first and fastest will get an exclusive contract with Global Tech. An exclusive contract? You'll basically be our IT department or something. All I know, the job will pay millions. Well, I'm definitely game. <laughs> I'm game too, and I'm going to be the winner of it. Oh man, their computer system really is a mess. The world's biggest tech company, how'd this even happen? Shut up, you're distracting me. You know you're not actually gonna get this deal, Anthony. You don't know the first thing about fixing tech. I'd keep your mouth shut before you say something you're gonna regret. Uh, whatever, just gonna actually focus on fixing this because I know how to. Oh yeah, well guess what? I think I just figured it out. I'm smarter. No way, that's impossible. Boys, how's it going in here? So easy, I did it faster than this, uh, what is it, um, Daniel? David. Oh, Fantastic. Let me give it a shot. Wait, my phone can't even connect to the Wi-Fi. This isn't fixed at all. Yeah, well, maybe your phone's the problem, you idiot. Uh, I mean... I think you actually made it worse. I think I got a virus. You're a fraud. Hold on one second. I know exactly what he did. If I just switch this on and move that over here... Sir, give it another shot. Oh, great. My Wi-Fi's back. I want you to work exclusively with Global Tech. How does a uh, $5 million a year sound? <laughs> I accept. You gotta be careful. Whoa, that guy's got problems. Yeah, you have, uh, no idea. Congrats on the launch of your new phone. Maybe, uh, we can work out another deal there. You know, I was actually thinking the same thing. What if every employee at Global Tech had one of my new phones? Oh, yes. Let's talk about this more. Man, I can't wait to buy this new phone. It's gonna be awesome. Danny, look at all of these people here to buy our phone. Look at how far we've come. We've really done it. I wouldn't have been able to do any of this without you, man. You were really the person that motivated me to do this. It was you that never gave up. It was teamwork, man. <sighs> Speaking of not giving up. Guys, please. I have a brand new phone too. The you pair, everyone. Dude, no one cares. Hey, shut up. Anthony, what is this? Are you seriously trying to sell a fake cell phone? No, it's not fake. It's better than yours and way more exclusive because only one person has one. How about you send me a text? Let's see how fast it can send a message. I haven't gotten that far yet. Give it a shot. All right, fine. You've got to be kidding me. See, instead of focusing on me, you should have focused on yourself. Well, I think he's going to have a long time thinking in jail. Jail? We did not forget about you breaking into our store. All right, where's the stupid criminal? He's right there, officer. Arrest him. Wait, no, that's my line. You're under arrest. Get your hands off of me. This isn't over. Oh man, I hate living like this. I'm sorry. Stealing my food? You're the worst, stupid, poor losers. Oh, this is awful. I'm not always gonna live like this. I'm gonna change. Andy, Dad, I was able to get us some food. Well, what did you find? That's it? Just a bag of chips? Are you serious? Listen, it's all I could grab. I'm sorry. Well, you've got two hands, and you just get one bag of chips? Ugh. I don't know what to tell you guys. Maybe you guys can go try and commit a crime. Oh, anyways, I gotta go. I think that store owner's still following me. Where are you, you poor loser? Oh no, I think the guy found me. This there he is, you criminal! I can hide here. I'm gonna find you, I swear! Colt, you are such a disappointment. I thought you bought that food, and I found out you stole it. I'm sorry, I know it was wrong, but you were starving, guys. Now my son is a good-for-nothing criminal. I thought I raised you right. I'm not a criminal, okay? I just didn't want you guys to go hungry. I do my best to take care of you and your brother, and this is how you repay me. What do you mean, take care of us? You haven't done anything to help any of us. The only person you care about is yourself. Andy's starving over 
over there, Dad? Oh, what? You think you could do better on your own, huh? Then why don't you just get out of here? We don't need you around here anyways. I'm still here because I care about you guys. You're still my family, and I want to make sure you're okay. Well, clearly, your brother and I are doing just fine without you. Now get out of here. Ugh, whatever, Dad. Hey, Cole, wait. I'm uh, really sorry about everything. It's okay. You know how Dad can get. Just want to make sure you're going to be okay. Yeah, I think I'll be fine. That hunger was getting to my head. Like I wasn't acting like myself, but you can't leave. Where are you gonna go? I don't know, man, but I'm gonna make something out of myself. I promise. I'm tired of living like this. I am too. Can I go with you, please? You're not at the age yet, Andy, and if I take you, Dad's gonna get really mad, but I'll promise you one thing. What? When I'm successful one day, you're the first person that I'm coming back for. All right, I think this is the best course of action. If I want to help my family, the only way to do it is by going somewhere else. There's no future waiting for me here. I need to make a difference in the world. I don't have any money to do so yet, but that guy looks like he does. Yes, Donovan, cancel my Wednesday and bring it over to Tuesday, okay? I need that appointment ASAP. And also cancel my Thursday. I'm so over that guy. Uh, excuse me, sir. Listen, I know it's asking for a lot, but you have a couple dollars so I can get a train ticket? Hold on a second, Donovan. A poor is talking to me. What, you're asking for some money? You think it's just free? No, of course not. I never said that. I just, you know, I really need the help. So you think you can just ask for help and get what you want and get money for it? Listen, kid, I work to take care of my family, okay? Well, I want to do the same, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I want to work for for it. Well, good. I respect someone that actually wants to work for some money and give back and help others and not just keep it all themselves. Here, you know what, kid? Have a hundred bucks. Wait, hold on. No, that's too much. I just asked for a couple dollars. Kid, I'm literally giving you a hundred dollars right now and you don't want it? This is like a penny to me. Actually, reminds me of that time I turned a penny into a million dollars. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. Yeah, good luck with everything, kid. Oh my goodness. Look at this place. It's the city. I haven't been here my entire life. This is gonna be it. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for and I won't forget what that guy said work hard and never forget where you came from. Oh my goodness Get out of the road. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't see you. Okay. There we go I made it across safely. I'm not sure what to do. Really. I don't have anywhere to go first things first I probably should get a job. Hey, excuse me. Are you guys hiring here? <laughs> yeah, right like we would ever hire the likes of you. Hey, man What is that supposed to mean? I really need a job. Okay. I'm willing to do whatever. Yeah, but we're not about charity here Okay, we're not about to waste our time on Pathetic poor people that come in and beg for jobs. Happens every day. Well, we're the people that need it the most, you know. And you don't know me. You don't know who I am. I can surprise you. And if you give me the chance, I will surprise you. Listen, kid, this restaurant is only for the rich and famous. They don't want to be looking at poor folk like you while they're eating. They might puke. Oh, that was just rude. You know what? Someday, I'm going to be back. Watch. And I'm going to be a customer. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. Yeah, right. Well, pretty sure that guy thought I was homeless because of what I was wearing. But first things first, I gotta get some new clothes. And probably a place to stay would be nice too, so they don't get so dirty. All right, well, this place looks perfect. Well, it's not a house, but at least it's a tent. And I look a lot nicer now. And I also have 50 bucks left. I gotta make sure I'm smart about the budget on this. I can use the rest of the money to eat until I find a job. That way I'll be safe. Man, I'm just... I'm worried about Andy. I wonder how him and dad are doing. I just want to help them so bad. They need it more than they're willing to admit. Andy's the most important person in my entire life. And all I want for him to do is succeed. But in order for that to happen, I need to do it first. I guess I just got to see what happens tomorrow. Hi, can I? Don't you talk to me! Get out of my store! Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a job. Yeah, well, you're not working here. Get out. Hi, uh... Did this piece of trash just talk to me? No. Oh, man. No luck at any of these places. At least this spot in the city looks peaceful. Maybe I'm just not going to figure any of this out. I'm not sure where I'm gonna go. I don't even think I have enough for a train ticket back. I just need one chance. Just anything. Come on, life. Give me a signal. Something. Oh, please. Somebody help me. Oh, my gosh. Someone needs help. Uh, wait right there. Uh, are you all right, man? Oh, oh, man. Yeah. I was out of my boat and I just fell overboard. Now my boat's gone. Well, at least you're safe, okay? I'm glad you were here. Usually there's no one down by the docks. Yeah, of course. Do you need me to get you any help or anything, or? No, man. I'm good. I have to buy a new boat now. That's gonna suck. But you help me. Let me help you. No, I don't want anything in return. I'm just glad that you're okay. Come on, man. It's the least I can do. How about I, uh, get you a burger or something? Let me buy you lunch. You know what? Lunch doesn't sound like a bad idea. Great. Here, have my business card. Meet me in my office tomorrow afternoon. I'll take you out to lunch. Call my man. There you are. Thanks for meeting me. Of course. Where do you want to go? I'm going to take you to one of my favorite restaurants in town. Come on, I'll drive. Oh, this thing's sick. Yeah, I know, right? Hold on tight. This baby kicks. Oh, uh, Mr. Danny, hello. Yes, we 
have your table and- Oh my gosh, you again? How many times do I have to tell you you are not working here? I'm so sorry, Mr. Danny. This trash has just walked in. Yo, you're not talking to my friend like that, are you? Uh, this is your, uh, uh, your friend? Yeah, this man is my friend, and he's here to have lunch with me. Uh, I'm so- I'm so sorry, Mr. Danny. I, I- I didn't know. Now, I want you to apologize to my friend right now. Nah, man, it's okay. I'm not gonna take anything this guy says to heart. Nah, dude, people shouldn't treat you like that. Is it true, though? You came in here looking for a job? Yeah, I just came in the city the other day, and I've been looking for a job ever since I've been here. Well, dude, you found one because you're working for me. And as for you, Francis, I'm calling James. No, no, please, that's my boss. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell him to fire you because you're a disrespectful jerk. Seriously, thank you so much again. I still can't believe I'm getting a job finally. Well, man, you definitely earned it. You're a selfless person. I mean, you saved my life, and you're a complete stranger. Well, you were. What is it that you do at the job exactly? We build real estate empires. My dad started this company when he was super young. I've worked hard, and this empire has grown, man. Stick with me, and I'll teach you how to build your own empire. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Wow, how did I get so lucky? That's everything I've ever wanted. Look, Colt, working for me, you're gonna be making some real money. But most importantly, you're gonna learn more than ever what it's like to build wealth and relationships, you know? Yeah, I'm so excited to finally get started. I'm finally back home. Dad? Andy? Wait, Colt? Colt, is that really you? Yeah, it's really me. I'm so happy to see you guys. Oh my gosh, look at you. You look great, man. Thank you. Everything's going so well. What are you doing here? It's been like months. Well, I want to take you with me. We can have a good day together out in the city. Really? Yeah, I'm down. Well, let's go. Hold on, hold on. I have something to do before we go. Yeah, hi. Excuse me, sir. Hold on a second. You look familiar. Yeah, you're the one who stole from me. I know. I'm sorry, okay? I was just stealing to eat and provide for my family, but I know it was wrong. It was wrong. You stealing from me is like taking away from my family, too. I didn't even think about it that way. Listen, I know I was in the wrong, and I want to give you something for it. What? A uh, hundred bucks? But, but you only stole one bag of chips. Yeah, I know, but still, this should make up for it. Uh, uh, thanks, I guess. Whoa, Colt. I know, Andy. Now let's go have a fun day together. <laughs> was so much fun. Thank you so much for these new clothes. I look kind of cool, don't I? Yeah, you look great. Where on earth have you been? Uh, uh, Dad, I was worried sick about you. I I'm sorry. Colt just came by and he took me out to the city. Hey, Dad. Funny you showing your face around here, huh? What do you want? You're looking all fancy. Got some money now, don't you? Yeah, I've been working really hard for it. And now you think you do that, you're better than me, huh? What? No, of course not. I never said that. Well, guess where I was? Working hard all day, but I got fired again. Dad, you got fired? Yeah, the boss caught me sleeping on the job. I was tired, though. Well, I think I can help you guys out, okay? We don't want any of your help. What is up with you? I'm your son, you know. We're supposed to be family, and look how you're treating me. Just take this. It's a bag of money. It'll help you guys out. Whoa, how much money is there? I don't know. It's just what I've been earning for the last three months, but it's enough to get you guys a new place and some decent food, at least. And you think you're just gonna come back here and hand it over? No, no, take it. I don't want it, and I never want to see you again. You're being irrational, dad. Just take it. Why can't you just accept me helping you? It's okay to not have everything figured out. And I want to still be able to be around Andy. I don't want you around your brother no more. You're a bad influence on him. You probably stole all this money. That's not true. I worked for it. Well, I don't care what you did. Now get out. Look at this place, Danny. It's my first home. Not too shabby for your first place, man. But, dude, you should look more happy. What's wrong? I don't know. I'm just, uh, my brain's in foggy. That's all. Just think about my brother. It's his birthday. Well, why don't you go see him or go talk to him or something? It's a little bit more complicated than that. Let me guess. It's your dad, right? Yeah. Last time I talked to him, it didn't sound like he was changing anytime soon. Yeah, but a lot of time has passed now, and your dad did take all that money you gave them. So, maybe it's all over by now. You know, maybe he's changed. Yeah, I'm just not sure. Maybe I'll try giving him a phone call. Can't hurt to try, dude. Alright, well, it's ringing. Yeah, you reached my phone and I'm not answering. Leave a message. Yep, he sent me straight to voicemail. Oh, man, this sucks. I don't want Andy to have to live throughout his life without his older brother around. Yeah, man, but I mean, at least you've got a new place to live and your life is doing great. There's a lot of opportunities in front of you. Your family will always be there. You'll figure it out. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Maybe I'll even attempt to try and go see them someday soon. Hey, what's the matter with that guy over there? Let me go see what's up. Hey, is everything all right, man? You look pretty bummed. Today's my last day of work. 
closing down my business for good. No way, really? Why? What's going on? Just can't afford it anymore. Everything's getting so expensive. Yeah, tell me about it. But uh, maybe I can help you out. I used to order from your place all the time, and your food's great. Oh, really? Uh, thank you. Uh, any help you could give would be great. Yeah, I mean, what do you think? Uh, we can partner up, and I can invest in your guys' restaurant. Ah, uh, but the building's too expensive, you know? We aren't gonna be able to afford the rent. Well, I don't have that much cash, but I still might be able to find a way to buy the building. What? You gonna buy the whole building? Well, that would be amazing. Yeah, and when I do, I don't want you to lose any of the business, okay? I, uh, I really appreciate this, man. I wanna hand this restaurant down to my family one day, you know? I got a little kid, Tony Jr., he's running around. Well, don't worry, okay? Because your family business is gonna continue, I promise. Thank you so much again. Family's the most important thing to me, you know? Yeah, um, anyway, uh, I'll, I'll wire you the money over later. Okay, you know what? After talking to that restaurant owner, he's right. Family is the most important thing in the world. And it's time that I settle the differences between mine. Wait, uh, who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Oh, you're trying to rob me, huh? I'm not gonna let you. Not again. Get out of here. Oh, oh, calm down, okay? My dad used to live here. Well, not anymore. The family that used to be here is far gone. What? How? That guy lost the property. I don't know what to tell you. He couldn't afford it. And I bought it. Hey, wait, really? Yeah, and I think they live under a bridge now or something nearby. <laughs> it's so funny. It's not funny. That's my family. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, all right? Just don't come back here. People keep trying to rob me. I don't like that. I'm not gonna rob you, okay? Man, I feel awful. I have to go see if they're all right. Where are they at? Where's dad and Andy? <sighs> there they are. Guys, what's going on? Why are you guys living under a bridge? Oh, great. Just as if it couldn't get any worse. What do you want? Uh... Listen, we need to just put our differences aside right now, dad, because it's obvious that your pride is blinding you. I'm not gonna just accept help from my son. Are you kidding? I'm supposed to be the one taking care of you. It's okay to ask for help sometimes. We're supposed to be here supporting each other. Yeah, well, I don't support losers like you. I'm not a loser, okay? I've been working hard, and now look at me. I'm rich. I can help. Andy, are you okay? Uh, I'm doing okay. <sighs> I miss you a lot, man. It's really nice to see you. Andy, shut up. I miss you too, man. Don't listen to dad. You know, it's a real thorn in my neck when my son thinks he's better than me. Well, I'm not, okay? We're all people. We all have our own issues. But I've worked past mine. It's obvious that you haven't worked past yours. Look, I don't want your charity or your big fancy speeches, all right? I want none of it. You know what, Andy? This is enough. You shouldn't be living under a bridge. You're just a kid, all right? Come with me. Really? You mean it? Yeah, if dad doesn't want to accept the help, then you at least should have the option to. Is that what you're going to do, Andy? You're going to leave your poor old dad here all alone. I, I, uh, Cole, I don't think I should. And now look at you. You're trying to make Andy feel sorry for you. You're guilt tripping him. You know what? Here, Andy, if dad's not gonna accept this, at least you should. Stop staying under a bridge. Go get a home for yourself. I think you should at least cover it for a year. See, look at that. As promised, the restaurant's looking great. Honestly, business is better than ever. I've been so busy. Yeah, and I've been learning a lot from my boss, Danny, and I'm just happy that I got this place up and running. I'll admit, Colt, you're the most successful guy I ever met in my life. And I knew my gram grams. That way Lady was about business. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Yeah, your family must be so proud of you, too. Yeah, um, hey, I'm gonna just take a step outside. I need some air. Hey, um, do you have any spare money? I really need it. Oh, man. Hey, are you doing all right? No, I'm homeless. I have been for quite a while now, and, uh, life hasn't been looking up. Well, hey, it makes you feel any better. I was in your shoes just a few years ago. Really? You, you, you were? No way. Look at you. You're, you're rich. Yeah, it's because I didn't give up, and I didn't let any obstacle get in my way. I think that you could do the same thing. Thing. I'm just honestly trying to go home to see my family. Really? You're away from your family? Yeah, miles. I don't think I can walk there. Well, a long time ago, someone helped me in the same exact situation, so... You know what? Here, take a hundred bucks. Wait, what? A hundred bucks? No way. No, I'm serious. This is gonna help you, alright? There should be a train station nearby. Wow, you're amazing. Thank you so much. I am so impressed with you. You made so much money, man. You're a full-time success. Thanks, dude. I couldn't have done it without you. Well, you might have to get used to it. What do you mean by that? Oh, I was getting kind of bored, you know? So I think I'm gonna retire. What? You're gonna retire already? You're so young, though. Yeah, but I've got this dream about sailing around the world. Like, you know, hanging out, throwing parties on a yacht. I made my money, man. It's time to celebrate and relax. Oh, wow, that does sound pretty cool, actually. And you definitely earned it. Yeah, and I'm thinking about selling the company, too. So I want you to put it in the first bed. You want me to buy the company from you? I don't know if I can afford that. If you want, man, you can just buy it in pieces, you know? We'll do 
like a payment plan or something. We'll figure it out. But I really want you to take the reins of the company. That's insane. If I own this and I'm going to own almost the entire city, I don't know what to say. Uh, you could say, yes, I'll buy your company. Thanks, Danny, for being an awesome, incredible friend. Can I please come on your yacht? I don't know about the yacht part, but thanks, Danny. You're an awesome friend. I won't let you down. I got to go scout the stores that I'm going to start owning soon. Wait, what? Is that Andy? Oh, you're not hiring? Okay, I, I understand. Yeah, yeah, now get out of my face, you stupid homeless idiot. You look at you. You're so homeless, man. You can't talk to people like that. Says who? Me. I'm the owner of this building. Oh, uh, listen, uh, no, I don't want to hear anything you have to say. You're fired, man. Get out of here. No, I was just joking. I was just joking. Get out. Oh, man, how am I going to tell this to Rebecca? Whoa, Colt, you didn't have to fire that guy. Of course I did, Andy. No one's going to ever talk to my little brother like that. How are you doing? You don't look so well. Uh, uh yeah, thanks. Uh, I'm kind of homeless now, but you look really good. You own this place? Yeah, I told you I was going to build an empire. Wow, and you're actually doing it. I'm really proud of you, Colt. Thanks. Listen, you shouldn't be applying to places like this. You should, um, how about you come work with me? Well, that sounds really great and all, but I think dad would be really mad. I don't think it's the best idea. It's been years. You gotta start taking control of your own life. But you know what? I think it's finally time I settle this with dad. All right, all right, fine. You wanna talk so much, then talk. Yeah, first things first. Why are you always so mean to me? What have I ever done to you? Mean to you because I'm jealous of you, Colt. Isn't that kind of clear? Well, that's just dumb. We're not competing with each other. I always wanted to be the strongest and the smartest. Then I had you and your brother, and I knew I had to do the best. But then you came along and became smarter and stronger than me. Enough that you could take care of us. I felt like a bad dad. Well, guess what? Both of your kids are grown up now, and we all have an opportunity to build something together as a family, but we're not going to if you're still stuck in the past. Uh, it's taken a long time for me to think, and you know, you're probably right. I am a little stubborn. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Colt. Wait, seriously? You're sorry? Yeah, I messed stuff up, and I messed it up enough. I want you to get your brother going on the good path, too. He's smart, and I want him to be successful like you. I want that, too, Dad, but I also want to be a part of this family again. We all got to take care of each other, and with that being said, you need to start accepting my help. I, I will. I promise. This is gonna be awesome. Thank you so much for the job and everything, Colt. I can't believe you own this restaurant, too. Damn, this place is nice. Yeah, it's owned by a good friend of mine. Good friend of yours? Ah, come on, Colt. We're basically family now, you know? This guy came in here and saved my family's business. Without him, I would've probably been homeless on the street eating pizza from the trash. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, well, enjoy your meals, guys, alright? Meals on me today. See? This is what happens when we work hard. You can have stuff like this. I never thought in a million years I would. The only thing I kept thinking about was, you know, my brother. I'm just glad to have you back in my life, man. I'm glad to have you back in mine, too. Oh, man. It looks like you're going to be out of a car pretty soon, though. Hey, 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 my car! Hey, get back here! That's my brother's car! Wait, Andy, hold on! No, I'm going to get this guy! No, no, it's fine, okay? Just calm down. There's going to be people like that all over the city. Yeah, but that car's yours. You worked hard for it, and that's your stuff. People can't just steal it. That's not right. <sighs> it just makes you so mad. Yeah, well, guess what? We were in the same position a couple years ago. These material items sometimes aren't worth our safety. <sighs> yeah, you're, you're probably right. Sorry, I just got lost control for a sec. It's all right. Don't worry. You definitely have a lot to learn, though. Look at you, Andy. You look like a whole different person now. Yeah, I have to admit, I kind of look like an adult for once. Suit's kind of nice. Yeah, you look great, man. Thanks for coming into the yacht just to hang out. Yeah, of course. We had to celebrate for me paying you the last of the company. Can't believe this is all mine. Oh, yeah, well, I can. I'm really happy you pulled it off, dude. I knew you could make it. Well, I couldn't have done it without you or Andy. Well, Colt, you're my brother. I will help you any way I can. Family's the most important. Yeah, Colt, you have your whole new empire now. What are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna keep expanding. I'm not done yet. There's nothing that me and Andy can't accomplish now, especially since we're working together. All right, the two bros, the dream team. Really excited to see what you two can do. Yeah, so am I. This is going to be incredible. Our lives are going to change forever. Hey, Cole, I wanted to surprise you with something. Yeah, you told me. Is that why you brought me over here? What's going on? Do you remember this place? Yeah, this is where it all started. This is where we used to live. Exactly. We wanted to build an empire, and I think this is the place where it all needs to start. So I talked to the guy at the city hall, and I bought the land. This place is ours. Wait, really? That's crazy. What about the last guy that took the place from you guys? Well, the rumor is he didn't pay any of his bills and he got evicted. So this place sat vacant for a while. I was thinking we should build something here to give back to the community. Yeah, I love that idea. I just don't know how we're going to do it yet. Well, leave this all to me. I want this to be my gift to you. It's a way to thank you, you know, for changing my life as well. Wow, that means a lot, Andy. I know you're going to do great. Thanks. Who knows? Maybe we can build a house for dad someday. All right, just another checkup at this restaurant. Oh my gosh, it's burning. What's going on? Anyone in here? Oh. Uh... Oh, no. Come on. I got to get you out of here. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Uh, uh, no. No, the meatballs. Uh, 
Uh, oh, man. Colt? Is that really you? Yeah, what happened here? The entire building just burned. Oh, something happened in the kitchen. It just caught fire. Oh, man. Was anyone else inside? I think I was the last one. I went in to double check and I got knocked out. Okay, well, at least everyone's safe. Don't worry, we can probably just buy another building or something. Buy another building? Come on. This one has been in my family for years. It won't feel the same anymore. Yeah, but even if it's not the same building, you're still gonna be with your family and that's all that matters. You guys can rebuild it together, just like me and my brother did. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's just a build it anyways, huh? We'll do a new restaurant. Maybe one bigger. Yeah, who knows? You know what? If this building means a lot to you, maybe I can try to see what I can do to see if it can get fixed. Really? You'd do that for me? I mean, it's just a building, but, uh, you know, it is kind of special. Yeah, well, let me see what I can do. Man, this guy is rich. <laughs> And now so am I. Wait, was I just robbed? Oh my gosh, why do bad things keep happening to me? What's going on? That was half my money. How am I supposed to fix the restaurant and fund the rest of the projects now? Oh wait, I have security cameras. Maybe I can see what happened. Yeah, no, everything was erased. Why is this happening? This seems a little bit more than just a coincidence. I have to find a way to get my money back. Hey, Andy. Cole, awesome. I'm actually glad you're here. I wanted to show you a couple of, uh, hey, what's wrong? Are you all right? No, I came out to tell you that I was robbed last night. You were what? Yeah, and they stole half my money. Oh no, that that's not gonna happen. So what are we gonna do? We call the cops? What? I don't know. I just need time to figure this all out. Well, what are you gonna do with all your money missing? That was gonna be the part of our next step. I think right now we just gotta focus on what's happening here. It seems like you know exactly what you wanna happen. And if this is where our empire is gonna start, then this is the main priority. Yeah, you're right. I mean, Colt, you're the toughest guy I know. You'll get through this. If you need help or anything, I've saved up some money and I'm more than willing to help you out. Just keep focusing on this, Andy. I really appreciate it. Are you sure? Because we can totally stop if you need time. No, we gotta keep this up. I think I know what I'm gonna do though. So you're serious, huh? You really want to sell this house? Yeah, I decided to sell all my material stuff because in my mind, it doesn't really matter. What? Are you serious? Look at how rich this place looks. You're just gonna throw it away? I'm not throwing it away. I just want to have more of a normal life, you know? Yeah, well, you're crazy for doing that. Don't you want everyone to know that you're rich? I, mean, I don't care if I'm seen as rich or normal or any of that. All I want to do is succeed in my goals, and that goal is to build an empire. Well, I mean, where are you gonna sleep then, man? I'll figure that out when the time comes. Well, it's gonna come in around uh, three hours, so you better figure that out. Here's a bunch of cash for the building then. I'll uh, get on to selling it. Hey, how's everything holding up over here? Well, thanks to you, me and little Tony Jr. over here doing great. Yeah, yeah, thanks so much for helping us. Of course, here. This should be the last of the money you need for the rest of the repairs. Cole, well, I still can't believe this. You, uh, you really are something else, you know? Helping me, little Tony here. Yeah, me and Big Pops really appreciate it. You know what you say, Pops? Family is more important than anything, right? We gotta stick together. Stick together, that's right, exactly. That's what I always say. He always says it. Yeah, you guys are right. What I live by too nowadays. I'm just glad I'm helping people that are grateful. Oh, wait, uh, excuse me. Hello? Wait, what? Where is he? Where is he? Andy! Oh, hey, you must be called. Yeah, I'm him. I'm Andy's brother. Where is he? Please tell me he's okay. I, uh, I wish I could say that. Don't, don't talk like that. Why are you saying it like that? I want, I want to see him. Let me see him. You're, uh, too late, Colt. I'm sorry. Your brother didn't make it. Didn't make, no, 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 that's not right. There's, there's something that we can do. There's always something that we can do. Not in this case. Colt, your brother is dead. There's nothing I can do. I'm really sorry. No, no! Thanks, everyone, for uh, for coming here today. Andy was probably the most important person to me. He had one of the best souls out there. He had such a bright future ahead of him until a car accident the day he was on his way to the big project we were working together. He wanted to help me build a wealthy and big environment, an empire to be around, to take care of my family and the rest of the people in the city. And I'm not going to stop just because he's gone. I'm going to keep going forward and pushing through it. I want to make Andy's dream alive. And just I want to remind everyone here to appreciate the people you have in your life right now. Because who knows? One day they'll be gone. Well, like I told you, Andy. It's all done. All of it. Everything's for you, man. I hope you're proud. Hey, go. Uh, oh. oh, hey, Dad. How are you, uh, how are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm doing all right. <clears throat> Wanted to come tell you that I'm, uh, <clears throat> proud of you. Really? You mean that? I do. I'm really sorry about how I treated you when you were younger. No, no. You, you don't have to apologize. I'm just sorry. I'm a little out of it today. It's just very emotional. You know, all of this was for Andy, and... I know. Andy would be terribly proud of you. He'd be proud of both of us. Because look at us now. We're both happy together. That's what he always wanted in the first place. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that this is always going to be my legacy, your legacy, and most importantly, Andy's. I'm going to name the city after him, and I'm going to make it so he's known for building this rich empire.